two assists so far and two made, two made Knicks baskets. Fox off the screen. Deuce is going to have his hands full tonight. Sacramento leads 7-5. to five. This game means a lot to both teams. They're both in a playoff hunt, both trying to secure a good playoff seating. Hmm. Yeah, they're, they're, they're going to gang up on Brunson tonight. As he turns the ball over, ball pass to Keon Ellis, finds De'Aaron Fox in the corner, has all day to shoot it. <laughs> and now the Knicks are down 10 to 5 with nine minutes and 30 seconds left. Unbelievable. Mensa Breen over here. How about that? I had to talk to somebody. <laughs> Hello, fellas. How you hey, doing? Hey, GMAC. What's up, GM? Um, I, I'm going to make my first move as GM as the ball goes out of bounds. Both of your mics aren't connected. Um, I think I think both of your mics are connected. They're not. There you go. You're right. <laughs> got a manual My playback. It's great because I can hear myself. So That's it's you, a part play? about play about playback, man. Because you're you're set up correctly. It's just playback that disconnects us every time. So I gotta, <sighs> okay, yeah, sorry. I gotta check that. <laughs> uh, just asked if um if Drew from PR quit. Uh, no, still gainfully employed. Just more of on a retainer type of thing. You know. <laughs> <laughs> we outsource our PR here at Nick's Film School. Indeed. These actions to Sabonis and the high post are like half of why they're so good. I know that didn't go in, but like you can see how nice of a he, shot he created against one of the league's premier rim defenders. Yeah, and he was with, toying with um <laughs> Hartenstein down there. Great pass. That's his third assist. Oh no, it isn't, but there we go. Josh Hart with the putback. I'm curious to see Wait, what happened. Is that an and one? Is that a foul on the floor before the shot? TNT, what do we got? Chris, tap your mic. Nine. It's uh, disconnected Still again. On. Yeah. Okay, I swear I didn't touch You're it. You're good. You it's a playback thing. You're good. You may need a new wire. Well, I'll we'll we'll talk after. Maybe I'll send okay, you. Okay, gotcha. But, but... All right. How are you feeling, fellas? I, I kind of started this out when it was just me saying, hey, um, you know, got an upper and a downer today. Randall out for the season, I guess, a little relief and just having an answer. Um, but yeah, OG cleared for contact uh, is, is just as positive as losing Randall is negative. And, you know, it's not supposed to even out. <laughs> um, but yeah, <laughs> we should for, not be back at zero, but it's better than the net negative. And and while a lot of Nick fans would say, hey, you know, we needed an and Obi back more than randall because we've seen the team be good without randall before i Ooh, I, re I really do think hey now and there's that guy again um he's really good i think um <laughs> i think the thing with julius is that we learned from julius in 2021 that no matter how good your first option is if you don't have a second option <laughs> it's really hard to succeed in the playoffs let alone make it past the first round uh so we'll see how this Knicks team does. That's really up to the luck of the draw now for who they face in the first round. But I think the book's kind of out on how to stop a team with one shot creator who's a smaller point guard. Every team in the league would love that the draw that matchup, even though you know Thibodeau coach teams are so tough, nasty, physical. I'll ask. I have a question next next break. Dose. Mm. Mm. Yeah, just to piggyback off what um off what Chris is saying, I there you go. think that yes, the Knicks don't have a nominal second option. It's really just Brunson and somebody else figure it out. So the non-Brunson minutes are going to be very difficult to win. But one thing that I'm looking forward to is the Knicks' actual second option, which is you can't score on us. Um Hartenstein and and Anobi healthy that's the, as Devo three um hey. that is that is what you want i think the defensively we're like if we get orlando <laughs> they're not going to score Jeez. as these guys can't stop scoring here um so yeah it's going to be tough in that second round but i think ananobi is going to show us something he has no kind of has no choice but to show us not something because there's nobody else that's really available but between hartenstein I, again, and I will continue to believe in them until they show me not to. DiVincenzo, Ananobi, and Isaiah Hartenstein are just the perfect trio of role players. And I think they're high-level role players. They're very productive role players. Um, and I'm just going to continue to believe in them, especially with Jalen Brunson at the head. 
So I still like this team to get to a conference finals. Wow. wow. Whoa. Conference finals? I still. Yeah. All righty. Ooh. Okay. That well, Deuce has to make some dunks if we're going to get there. But I'm a gas, Mensa. There we go. Um, Leon Ellis with the three earlier, as I was saying before the game. He's really good. And he's been a really, I don't not even like a pleasant surprise. Like, that's why they, oh my God. Nah, those got to fall, guys. Oh, please be okay. All right, good. I don't know if that's an even chance of foul, but okay. Body on the floor. Something's going to get cold. Unless it's Jalen Brunson, in which case he deserves it, right? <laughs> yes, foul bait. <laughs> What's this Chris Haynes? Uh, so I'm, full disclosure, the reason I'm late is because I was recording Mets therapy and I missed the Chris Haynes report. What happened? Um, basically, despite the fact that the Knicks have been saying Randall's never been cleared for contact, he told Bleacher Report Haynes on the phone that five weeks ago in his recovery process, he re-injured and re-aggravated the shoulder in a full contact session. Um, as we've seen on social media from Randall's trainers, he's undergoing a lot of sessions with them and he may have without clearance gone ahead and done a full contact session in which he derailed the course of his recovery and, and basically ended any chance of returning. Um, we know this is a conservative Knicks medical staff. Begley's been pretty consistent in reporting that. I think Nick fans have always wanted that. Um, so, you know, no complaints from the fan base, at least in terms of that. But I also think a part of the reason that a lot of people love Julius Randall is because of his desperation to be on the court and that may have spurned him really, really badly. So he was cleared for contact and they just told us he wasn't for the longest time. I don't um, think that's clear. I don't think it's clear. I, if that's Knicks, not, yeah. What's clear is that Julius Randle was in a full contact session. We don't know if the Knicks approved that is what's not clear. All oh, that's reported is that, that Julius yeah, that's what I was, was trying in. to get across. Yeah. So he That's, might have gone outside of the Knicks. Well, to... we know we know he's been doing that because if you follow his trainers and his trainers' friends on social media, like he's I, been I, in, he's been in a lot, um, just working with them, and pretty much making sure that he's always getting shots up, always playing in game environments, and without clearance for contact, he may have gone ahead and taken contact, full contact. Okay. Very um, interesting going into the offseason. He said that one surgeon told him at first he just needed surgery right away. Another said to give it a shot, but that if he did re-injure it, it would be permanently injured. Um, and that's all we got. Okay. Very interesting. Yeah. Very, very interesting stuff there. Oh, I don't, I don't quite like the... The idea of a disconnect. Again, it's not clear if the Knicks cleared him, but it is clear that Julius Randle wasn't in, in a full contact session. Um, either way, it's not good for us. It's not good for Julius, and I hope that he recovers quickly. Um. I don't, I don't Nemo, I would say that okay. We don't know right now what happened, but if we assume the Knicks are telling the truth and he was never cleared for contact, then he went outside of it. And it was outside of the Knicks medical staff and just went through contact on his own. You know? You never really know when you're dealing with human beings. Maybe the Knicks told him, Hey, no full contact, but you can try to get back at it. Let us know about everything that's going on. And he was like, all right, let's do one full contact session. Maybe that was his third full contact session that week. And the wear and tear is what I like. You don't know what happened. All we know is that actually about five weeks ago, oh my God, he went through, <laughs> Keon Ellis is really good at basketball. Um, he went through a full contact session five weeks ago and completely re-injured the shoulder, re-aggravated, however you want to say it. I noticed the Knicks run a lot of their offensive actions through Hartenstein at the upper elbow. Yeah. Uh, recently, just because of, I guess, having, oh, my God. Okay, there you go. It's the Joe Kim Noah playbook. Horizontal, center, 
getting a layup up. Yes, Jess. Oh, Keegan Murray. Um, if you look at EPM, the Kings have three players who are like blatantly above the rest, and Murray has is one of them. He yeah. is someone who has gotten himself to that point of, hey, I'm the third guy on this really good team. Shoot the ball, remember how guys. remember how Sacramento was like universally clowned for passing on Jaden Ivey, and now this Keegan Murray guy. I don't know, maybe, and and then a year after, Keon Ellis is really good at basketball. Also, also true. And then, <laughs> and, then, and, then and then, and then a year after, um, the Charlotte Hornets were universally clowned for taking Brandon Miller over Scoot Henderson. I think we're learning pretty quickly that if a team wants to take a six-eight wing, you should just let them take the six-eight wing, um, and everything else will work, will work itself out. 21 to 11. Kings ahead here early in the first quarter. Ah, look at this. Lucky fan. Um, at Madison Square Garden, it is definitely a tough start for the Knicks. You, you can't blame them for being demoralized, coming out a little demoralized. Yeah. They're trying, but the other team is also trying. Hart made a joke out of it. You know, he was like, oh, Randall's a bad person and a bad teammate for stringing us along. <laughs> a little bit. But. We all know that this is crushing for everyone involved, and you can't really blame the. Oh my God, this guy's having too much fun. Um, you can't really blame the Knicks as a team for these kids. Do not know this song. <laughs> I think this one was alive when it came out. I, Chris, you weren't alive when this came out. I was not. I was about to say, yeah. That's why when the four-year-old came on the screen, I was like, ah, oh, they were there. Yeah. <laughs> You weren't alive when this came out. Well, this is a 90s dance cam. <laughs> yeah, for, yeah, I was for... going to say, you're going to be saying that. For that is song. this segment, is the pre-Chris segment. <laughs> so like a, a Yiddish c'est la vie, Jess. A zoe gatus. What the fuck? Nemo, that that would be good. Is Larry there? A playback I, host dance cam? Oh, please. You guys want to embarrass me again. It might be Susie who's there. She's there a lot. Oh, it's both. Hey, of them. they're both there. Susie has been there a lot recently, too. What's Larry doing? Oh, brother. Get a load of this guy. <laughs> <laughs> Last you, episode of Sunday. Did you see the, the shout out in the the most recently released episode, Andrew? No, I know they shouted out Panarin. And... That was it. That's, oh, that yeah, was, yeah, that's yeah. what I was talking about. Yeah. Larry was talking to Cheryl and he's like, well, you know, if you were going to, I can't, I literally cannot say on this playback what the setup for this conversation was because it's so inappropriate. But he was like, oh, maybe if you wanted to talk about the Rangers, uh, you know, hey, the bread man's doing well recently. Yeah, yeah, he is. <laughs> <laughs> the bread man's doing well. <laughs> Jess nailed it. I think everyone goes to prison. I think Larry sets this all up as a double down on the Seinfeld ending that everyone hated or not everyone, but you know what I mean? I'm being exaggerative. Um, I think Larry doubles down on the Seinfeld ending in curb and sends them all to jail, except Susie who will like either be in jail, blaming Jeff or be out of jail, telling them like she told them. So <laughs> I do not watch curb. So, not the Sopranos ending should be hated by nobody. That was fantastic. I also have not finished watching the Sopranos, so I got to catch up at some I'm point. Not saying a thing about a thing. I did see the wire. The wire is awesome. Oh, the wire is fantastic. The wire is outstanding. And my wife started watching uh, Sons of Anarchy. She was telling me all about it. I'm like, I should probably start watching this. And then I realized I have no time to do anything. So. I've had <laughs> people tell me Sons of Anarchy is outstanding. I watched season one Corner. and just didn't go back to it. Ah, look at Mitch. Go, look Mitch. Look at Mitch. All right, Mitch. Getting all the boards. Good pass. One yeah, more. There you go, on. Deuce. Got to hit these, dude. Third yeah, time's you, the charm? Yeah, you kind of got to hit those. Is that real? Deuce is already 06. Oh, man. All right. Okay. This might we might have to break out the trivia soon. <laughs> Don't say that. 
Give them the uh, end of the first quarter to fight back. They will. They're just they're missing shots. Yeah, yeah they'll be they, all right. They can start making shots. The Kings started three. Go go start making shots. Shot Two field goals in the first quarter. Improvement. Um, the Kings started three or four from downtown. That that they're now five of seven. That will all. Ellis is three of three from three. Keon, man. You know, I'm so glad I shouted him out before this game started because he has been so good. I feel like he has burst onto the scene as exactly what fans, ex- optimistic fans, expected from Colby Jones in his rookie year. That's mm, a really f- funny shot attempt. Push it. Hey, oh, Mitchell Robinson. You like I the offhand lay, there. but not the air ball. Great Brunson, shot. There, there we, we go. go. Made another shot. Single digits now. It's a uh, it's a three possession situation now. I, I I can't be too worried this early on if I'm a part of the Nick faithful. Yeah, we're not. Great body control. Ah. That's fantastic body control. To be that long and lanky, and I guess large is the third L word I'll throw in there for alliteration, alliterative purposes. Ah, uh, good. Mm. There you go. Nah, you just corner. Ah. Oh, oh, hello. See, we didn't three have field angle. goals. Yeah. Guy, guy attempted three field goals the last game, and now he already <laughs> has made three field goals this game. Pull up the drop. All right. Oh, missed my. everything. Oof. Jeez. That was like that Sabonis mm-hmm. one. Set the screen, Mitt. Jeez. Nope. Inside to Mitt. Okay, Mitchell Robinson just spent a good five seconds that's, wide open in the paint. That's the Mitchell. Rob- <laughs> He's got four rebounds already. My God, Mitchell Robinson. Yep. <laughs> and what? And three of those are offensive. Yeah. Uh, I'm actually. I think I was counting all four offensive. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> Hold on. I'm gonna count this. Uh, he's got three rebounds, three offensive, and now he's at the line. Imagine having the best offensive rebounder on your bench. Yep. <laughs> right. I will sign up right now for one of two. <laughs> yeah. God bless. And there's the one. Oh, there's the one. Hey, we might Mitch, listen. This play with house money. Gravy, sir. The last time I checked, he was 37% from the line. So I think. What Jess just said is smart. Just assume both are not going. Uh, they see this right here. This graphic is actually really insightful as to why Sacramento is playing like gangbusters because tomorrow they're in Boston. <laughs> well, here's the thing, and we benefit from this too. Boston clinched home court throughout the playoffs last night, like in the finals. Okay. So who knows who's playing for them the rest of the season? Mm. They may be. We have them. Yeah. We. Oh. Have, they may be uh, signing up for their subscription to LA Fitness. Might see a lot of um, Doogie Hauser minutes. Exactly. Davion right. Mitchell, that's a that's a cute little bucket there, and and he, he shot it well lately. I, I, I look at some of his numbers. Yeah, I think the thing with him is you can kind of look at so many players drafted after him and just think to oh, yourself, "Oh, Bogey, hey, that's now. a good look. Bogey in the now corner, get to the Bogey corner. In the yeah. Oh my God, just they're closing out really well. The Kings. okay, boy, that's exactly what Bogdanovich needed to do there. That's perfect execution. Um, what I was going to say quickly about Mitchell was Sengun was taken seven picks after him. Oh my God. There we go. But the, the argument is, do they, ha- do they trade Halliburton for Sabonis if they drafted Sengun? Um, yeah. If they took Trey Murphy there instead or traded back and took McBride or took, uh, Herb Jones, you know, like there's so many what ifs with the Davion Mitchell pick. But I think it's cool to appreciate him for what he is, which is a really fun backup to the Aaron Fox, who also, as we're watching right now, is capable of playing with him. What that's, are you guys doing? That's a little, that's too much dip on the chip. Oh, t- t- oh, lip readers everywhere just had to censor themselves. <laughs> Do we? I want Mensa play by play. Hold on. I miss Mensa play by play. For one minute, right. 118. I want Mensa play by play. All right. Score right now is 30 20 with a minute. And okay, we'll start now. You're fired. As yeah. Davion Mitchell, <laughs> as, Davion as Davion Mitchell hits a bucket, we got Deuce McBride taking the ball up against De'Aaron Fox here. Passes the ball off to Josh Hart, who passes it to Precious. Passes it to Bogon. Deuce with the ball at the top. Gets a trap. That's bizarre. 
Josh Hart now has the ball dribbling it's against be ugly. Davion. It'd be ugly. <laughs> and there's why they Mitchell call Mitchell Robinson. Robinson. Oh, please be okay. Pull up oh, three geez. for De'Aaron Fox when he's hitting those. There's nothing you can really do about it. That makes him unstoppable. The Knicks are now down 15 in the first quarter. 35 to 20 with Deuce McBride taking the ball up. 30 seconds left in the game. Going on with the ball here. Drives against Trey Lyles. Okay, a missed basket. Great. Oh. And if they score here, the Knicks go down 17 or 18 into the second quarter. Not exactly what you want. Valley give. Um, for what it's worth, and please don't run, you know, like aggregating this to our, our lovely fans in the chat, but I, I can tell you guys Josh Hart is not necessarily happy, as nobody would be, about the extent of his shots that come late in the shot clock yeah. as forced up looks. That's where most of his people have pointed to. I hate that shot from Josh Hart. He only takes it when the play breaks down and he has to get off a last second shot. You know, this guy hates shooting. You think he wants to take that shot? All right, end of one, Knicks down 35 to 20. Some statistics from the first quarter. Um, De'Aaron Fox with 11 points and a plus 18 on six field goal attempts. Uh, Keon Ellis, who was made into a meme in the Knicks' last matchup against the Kings, with nine points on three made three-pointers. The Kings were seven of ten from three in that for first quarter. A mirror image of the Miami Heat the last game. So teams hitting threes against the Knicks. It's not what you want. Um especially when the Knicks are one of six from three so far this game. Uh, I thought I don't know how you guys feel that the uh Kings were closing out pretty well and that Deuce McBride had some looks and just missed all of them. Deuce McBride, oh of six from the field, oh of four from three in this game so far. Uh, and to something Mensa's brought up a couple times, uh, Josh Hart, three of four from the field already after going one of three from the field the entire Miami Heat game. The do start feels reminiscent of, but is hopefully not a continuation of the um, the Dante DiVincenzo four of 18, <laughs> four of 16 from three game. When you have these guys who, you know, it's like it's like starting a reliever right you have these guys who are used to a certain amount of volume certain amount of touches certain amount of shots and all of a sudden they are putting up four times that on a gamely nightly basis um it's a bit tough yeah it is it's it's hard to expect um guys like deuce mcbride specifically and even alec burks who's not in the rotation or Boyan Bogdanovich, basically all the non Jalen Brunson offensive players to have them, to expect them to step up in the absence of um, Julius Randall, like one, like you'll get, you know, your hot nights here and there, but it's not consistent. And we're seeing that with only 20 first quarter points, one of six from three on um, the other team shooting seven for 10. I, that's not acceptable. We're the home team. We should not be allowing another team to come into our gym and shoot that well, but, I mean, it's been a deflating day for the Knicks, I'm sure. Um, yeah, so hopefully they, these guys can um, – right now I'd be happy if the Knicks can cut it to single digits going into the second half because this Kings team can score, and they can score a lot of points. You are not wrong, Mensa. It's tough because, you know, like I said earlier, you're not trying to write this game off as a loss. Chris, you're underwater. Darn. Just give it a second. Just give it a second. Now go. You're not trying to write this game off as a loss from the opening tip, but you also expect the entire roster to be beyond demoralized that the news came out today that came out today. And um, it's really hard when you're going up against someone like Mike Brown. You're underwater again. Sorry. Just turn your turn your mic off and turn it back on. Now go. Good. Now you're good. Let's let's hear it. Okay. I was gonna say, you know, you expect the Knicks roster. Oh my God, it's in a. This, okay. Um, uh, I think that, you know, 
you expect the roster to be demoralized. You don't want to write this off as a scheduled loss from the opening tip, but you're missing an all defensive player, an all NBA player. Um, and Busy says that doesn't connect to the Knicks now seeing their true pecking order when they're missing two of their three best players. So, okay. But um, I think that that matters a lot because when you're missing, what, 40% of the salary cap or 35% of the salary cap, you can't just be like, hey, Deuce, try harder. <laughs> you know, it's, uh, it's a situation where guys have to step up. They're never going to replace the production. But they get to make try. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah, your your mic failed at the end of that, Chris. I'm sorry. I heard, I understood what you were saying, but I heard. Oh man, turn your mic off real quick. Like, uh, uh, excuse me, switch mic to your your webcam real quick. Is this working now? It's working, but it seems like it's a mic issue. Uh, no matter what you do with it, so just go to your your webcam as your mic or your or a different mic. Okay, boy, on for two. Nick's only down seventeen. Am I on a delay talking like this? No, no, no. You're now you're good. It's just it doesn't sound as good as if, if you had a microphone. That's all. My phone. Um, so I'm using my phone as a mic when I'm on playback on my laptop. That should be good. Oh, why can't you just use your laptop as a mic? Because won't the phone be better? No, you're on a delay. Here we go. Boy on. Boy on with seven. See that that is a welcome sign. Those are the shots you want to see him make. I really loved the shot earlier, though, when he uh, he didn't take the three, didn't force it up, and Aaron Fox, Fox on. can't Jeez. miss. I loved the shot earlier when Bojan brought it inside. Uh, and one one thing about De'Aaron Fox, I don't mean to cut you off, but he loves to control deep, Knicks fans, and that shit pisses me off. So I'm sure he's very <laughs> happy to be playing well in the Garden tonight. Okay, I feel like the, the the silence at that shot attempt is telling. I just I'm he's he's a water break for Jalen at this point. Oh guys. boy! Oh, this is oh that's a foul. It's a bad when foul. you foul that hard, you make it worth it. It's really frustrating. From Bogey, who probably, I mean, Precious is jumping for joy. That's the actual frustrating part. You're supposed to defend. It's not a good Precious game. Your hands, not your feet. Um, well, this isn't a good matchup for Precious. This team plays faster than the, the, the speed of sound. I mean, they are running complex actions four to five times in one play. Like, everyone's plays are the same length. They're, you get 24 seconds, that's it. The Kings have, like, a third and fourth play drawn up every time when their actions break. It's it's ridiculous from Mike Brown. That's the same reason you see the really good closeouts. Yeah. It's good analysis. No oh! Bad. What? No. Oh, foul on Lyles. Okay. So is that an end one? No. Foul happened before the shot. That's annoying. Okay. Yeah, feed the bench score. Oh my guys, Jesus Christmas! Hey, and Bogdanovich got hit in the face. He is on the ground. Five on four. I nice bogey so far. That defensive position, but there's always like a chance he's gonna throw it out of bounds every as he throws it out of bounds. There, God bless America. It's possession to possession, folks. My goodness, I I was in the middle of saying you're always in the. <laughs> risk of him throwing it out of bounds as he then uh, he got it knocked out whatever not nah, hit his bum the thing is len defended that by facing the rim and just putting his arms up okay oh my god yeah that's right. that's gonna that's gonna do it that'll that'll play let's uh let's get the the, the tibs timeout <sighs> oh they didn't even do the tibs timeout he called it i i never want De'Aaron fox to do well against the Knicks. <laughs> Never. Because I know he's going to tweet some shit after the game and it's just going to send me to Mars. I just don't want to. Oh, man. So, Chris, maybe you could provide some insight on this, but the OG Ananobi report, that update that Tibbs gave beforehand, 
is that how should a Knicks fan take that? Like positively, but like back tomorrow, back Sunday. Oh no, not tomorrow. Back, yeah, no. All start back game one of the playoffs. Okay, like, between the first one and the last one, that's it's not a right. But like, there's some big games coming up. I want to know which one I can be optimistic to see Ananobi at. I would say late next week would be my best speculation. So Boston guess. could be the that question. could be the game. Okay, um, so they might be the seven seed when he comes back. <laughs> Got it. Okay. He, this is the equivalent of a ramping up report. It is not a All right. close to return report, at least from the language that was used. And my best guess, I don't want to be like, he's not coming back, you know. For Fred Katz, the Knicks have declined comment on Julius Randle's quote to Chris Haynes that Randle uh, returned to full contact five weeks ago and re injured his shoulder. Mensa, I swear, like, I mean, the conversations that get had, like one at the town hall last night, like this is the beginning of a rift if he went outside the organization to do this, which yeah. means... I don't even think it's the beginning of a rift if he went outside. I think it's just... But publicly it is. Like, that's yeah, my point. Yeah, it's the first, like, it's the first domino to fall mm -hmm. in what will eventually be an unceremonious ouster of Julius Randle and because there's the contract extension that's coming up, there's this report that he um, there's this report that he goes outside the Knicks. Well, not well. You're, we're putting two and two together here. It's not been reported that the Knicks didn't clear him for contact because I'm sure Will Janowski will tweet that in about 48 hours if it's true. Um, yeah, it, this is just not what you want. And I was very uncomfortable here because I'm like, damn. Now there's like a contentious for a, for a player like Julius Randle who should be celebrated. Marbury is here, which is weird to me. Mm -hmm. Like this is Stefan Marbury in the building, who never pops up on our trivia. <laughs> well, we I always like stop it at 2010. That's why. <laughs> Although like yesterday our trivia was the 2000, but it was 20 rebounds. Yeah, you're now making me good at like the next. The next stat that I put the has to have I Stephon Marbury. Is, well, I know my name all players be. that have worn the number three for the Knicks. You John know. Starks, <laughs> they, uh, Josh Hart. You know, we'll just go down that list. Tim Hardaway Jr. That's right. It's a Tim long Hardaway list. Hardaway Jr. Three and five. Yeah. Did Trey Burke wear three? Twenty-three. 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 Okay. That's why Mitch wore twenty-six. Ah, yes, season. yes. He had to step out of the way for you know Trey Burke. But the 23 Savage has been returned to his rightful number. <laughs> All right. 4625, 826 left. Brunson back in the game. Fighting for his life. Immediately is that foul baiting, guys? Is that foul baiting? I or thought is... so. Yeah, okay. me too. I, yeah. <laughs> I'm not letting it go. I'm sorry. <laughs> I we gotta give a uh, that's Oof. an air ball. We gotta give big I know everybody's upset Bagley didn't call Windy out to his face. On the putback today, when the foul baiting thing got brought up, Bagley went through like a seven bullet point list of ways that you can say Brunson isn't a foul baiter. And I was like, oh, OK, you're a day late, but I'll take it. That's that's refuting. So I'll I'll, I'll take it. Oh, good luck, Hartenstein. And what? Oh, Josh Hart. All right. Down 17, baby. Still this is alive. the start. This is the start. They were Chris. The last time we were on a watch along together, they were down twenty-one. What are you eating? Because I came here without dinner, and you're eating in my face. What are you eating, Chris? I made pizza. Okay. Well, my wife made burritos for Taco Thursday or Ooh, National sure. Burrito Day, and I'm out here not eating on the watch along. But I don't completely blame you for eating because I'm very hungry. It's um. <laughs> It's the I first thing I've had today. Destroyed that's fine, that's fine. my food. In yeah, 10 minutes. Before, well, 10 minutes. Yeah, yeah. My wife put it in front of me at 719. I said, game time. Let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> Jessica, I'm I'm fine. It's okay, mom. I got it. <laughs> I promise. <I'm> okay. <laughs> Maybe Mensa and I can handle trivia. So you no, can no, 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 no. We're good. We're good. 
I still trivia. We handle the comeback play by play. You mean? Okay. Uh, They're during down during halftime, I meant. Well, oh, halftime trivia. Yeah. That that was that that I'll give over to you guys, and I'll go. Easy. So we're only down sixteen, and there's no De'Aaron Fox on court. So if there's any this time to run. come back, it's exactly. right now. I agree, Mensa. This is the run you got to make. Get it down to ten. The team is tired. The Julius News has them demoralized. Uh, Their frustration fouling. The Bogdanovich foul earlier that resulted in an and one, I feel like is very representative of what's going on right now. <laughs> I, you know, you're going to yeah. foul. You got to make it count. I don't know, man. The Julius stuff is interesting. He's just, it's like, there's a chance. And I want to be clear. There's a chance that he and the Knicks did not agree on his rehab. The Knicks wanted to be more conservative also in the season that julius leaves caa for wme that's like, a, just hmm. like i thought there's a lot that, I was there. like, i'm not gonna be the one there's no, a lot it's not there. even gonna be the one chris we're all thinking it like the fact that he's no longer like that's why the Onanobi stuff i've been like i had caa taking care of caa julius doesn't have that anymore you know yeah and you see how they're handling og Ananobi. Mm -hmm. With kid gloves, and he is with the program. Mm -hmm. Devo hey, Dante oh. down fifteen. Great shot. Go. Seven minutes to go until halftime. Forty-eight, thirty-three, Kings. This team has gotten out of bigger holes. Uh, okay, Ooh. yes, sir. Dunk, Dunk that it. JB. Watch your back. Watch your back. Dunk that JB. Hey! Great job hesitating at the end and sending Mitchell flying past him. Let's go. Down 13. Reset. Someone reset. We are down 13. Um, no, we're not. The fight, the score right now is 48-35. New York Knicks down 13 with six minutes and 49 seconds left to go in the second quarter. Will our heroes make a comeback? I say yes. But very key right now is that we are seeing the minutes, the Knicks win the minutes without De'Aaron Fox who has been a thorn in our side. Um, also on the putback today, um, some of the best news that I got like all year. Yep. Brunt is willing to extend. Yep. Whatever the number is, don't DFA. Wow. Don't mess around. Yeah. I, I, I him. We just talked about CAA taking care of CAA. How about Godfather taking care of God's son? Yeah. Or I mean, Chris does this like father taking care of son's client. <laughs> like yeah, that, that was a done deal, man. but the fact they might extend them sooner is is a pleasant is a pleasant yeah, welcome. Everyone, and it's not for an outrageous number either. It's mm -hmm. for like one sixty nine because it's off of this current it's, yes. contract. Yeah, and he knows he's gonna make it back with the Duncan money. So, <laughs> <laughs> worst barista in NYC. That meme always kills me. He has a cereal commercial too, right? It pops up in my Instagram algorithm. It it's yeah. an Instagram ad. Yeah. Yeah, and podcast money. Don't forget that. Shout out to the fine folks at Blue Wire. There was um. This is gonna be embarrassing. Oh no, Chad Ocho Cinco. I haven't watched that one, but I, I saw one clip that he beat LeBron in one on one. Yeah, he said that he really believes he could beat Jalen and Josh in a one. -on -one. Oh, that was this is funny. She's like, she needs to do the wind up. Like, she needs to do the full two steps. Yeah, she's just like. Get to I have to do a proper there. layup, you know. Knock this down. I, that's kind of oh, no, that was not cashed. Oh, oh no. you ain't close. One, one more. One of one these more. is going in. Ah, it's because she's legs. Use the legs. legs. <laughs> Actually, they're all they all they missed just, right. They didn't give her another ball. <laughs> it's the wrist. I'd be terrified to do. I did this in college. I did a free throw contest. Really? That's yeah. fun. Yeah. I would, I'd I be see terrified one of these, to do this. I think a DJ right story, and it's just. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> Every time, and I'm like, man. Yep. Poor you. I'd have to move. I would just have to move. Yeah, I would. That would make me a nuts fan. <laughs> that would be my villain origin story. Mm -hmm. Is John Oliver there? I guess. Yes, John Oliver is there. This is a star-studded night. A lot of Emmys in the building. Uh, just checking around the league right now. Um, we have the Atlanta Hawks up two on the 
Dallas Mavericks. The Warriors are up 13 to 4 early on against the Houston Rockets. Um Sixers Heat. Sixers are up four points. That's to one I'm staring at right now. We need the Sixers to win. Yeah. We listen, we just we just need good things to happen. Um Sixers win, then I can feel comfortable about rooting for the three seed again. Although, you know what? There's a race for the six seed. I don't know if I want to see Joel Embiid. All right, I'm officially going on record. I want the four or five. Like I just, I want that four or five with Orlando. I'll settle for that right now. Yeah, two games up. On yeah, because I don't want to get to three, and then Miami's waiting for me, or Embiid is waiting for me. Just give me the four or five, and then give me Ananobi against a healthier Ananobi against point five zero. Point five zero exactly. Um, listening to the James audio is just that. Underwater. Sorry. Sorry, Chris. Another thing about playing Orlando is, yes, give me this young team and their first playoff experience in Madison Square Garden. Bingo. Will, we're going to make them pee down their leg. Think about that. They were 9-5 and five in March, and two of those losses were the Thunder game and the Spurs game. So like two shots away from being eleven and three in March, yeah. without Ananobi for except for three games, without Randall, you know, without Mitch, with and with March starting with us thinking Jalen Brunson had like broken his leg and maybe he needed it amputated. I'm exaggerating, but only kinda. Yeah, <laughs> no, that was man. Yeah, you were live for that. That's right. Yes, I had a lot to drink that night. Uh, <laughs> you all three you did. I couldn't do it. I'm sorry. <laughs> I started off with a double margarita. Yeah. And then I said, you know what? Let's break out the bourbon. Mm -hmm. And I had a great time. I think I think that was the uh I would that be was, drag that, that was, was the drag. Yeah. That's was, that's was the first time you guys uh you sang on the watch log too. Yep. Man, it was a great night. Josh Hart put back on the pull up. It, it was a great <laughs> oh, step night. back, step back, step back. It was a great night. Oh man. Look at this. Motion. I love this offense. Here we go. Oh, my Lord. I love this offense. Let's go. Bravo. Fantastic. Hartstein's really grown as an offensive basketball player over the course of the season. It's about getting used to those reps. Or the volume of them, at least. You know, another year of being the starter by accident, kind of. Right, they've cut a 21 point lead down to 11. This team, I mean, by. By November of next year, if I start saying that Isaiah Hartenstein went to Villanova, please nobody say anything. <laughs> <laughs> if I start well, just that he was there, well, sorry, he was yeah. there, bro. I... <laughs> oh man! Um, one thing that I'm watching around the league is Golden State versus Houston, especially after Tari Eason, like a complete clown, mm -hmm. was like, "Warriors come out to play." Well, now you're down 13 in the first quarter. Yeah. Um. I knew that was not going to end well, was not going to end well for them. Warriors have also won five straight, right? Yeah. Yes, they have. The Rockets won ten straight. And walk. Here we go, Hart. Sorry, Chris. You were. I heard. Yes, they have. I, 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 I can tell from the face. Yeah. Josh okay, Hart. Josh. Nice. Hey, look, a foul. I was sorry for one of the smoke. I respect it too. But also, yeah, like, they got burned. The Warriors, <laughs> I knew that was not asked, going to end well. They asked Draymond about it, and he said, I don't give a damn about the Rockets. So, I you know. to the Warriors. They they went, didn't, do, didn't go down quietly, you know. I Thank just knew you. that was never going to end well for them. Thankfully, for the KFS staff, I was the only person to predict that they'd be the number one team. <laughs> I feel so bad. He's it not sounds like you're speaking in reverse. It literally that sounds like that. you're doing this. <laughs> well, like, that's how it sounds. Chris. I just tried a third different microphone. It works. Now it's working. Now it works. So you got to yell is what you got to do. Oh, man. Okay. <laughs> Your roommate's going to hate you. Yeah. He's watching the game next door. Single digits. Next down, just nine, 48 Look. to 39 with four and a half minutes to go until halftime. That's a 14 to two run for the guys in orange and blue. Navy blue today, I should say. I don't like these jerseys. This guy is good at, is good at play by play. <laughs> Here we go. Okay. Hey, look at the Knicks. 
And Sean for the degenerates and all of us has <laughs> took the Knicks plus two fifty. There you oh, go. Oh my goodness. Okay. Yeah, off night. He'll he'll stay with you. There you go. Run. There you go. We're moving. Oh, We're wow. moving. Put it up. Moving I was like down seven. I was like a franchise quarterback because I'm yep. like he's not open. He's like, watch this. Yep. Puts it right, <laughs> right over, over his oh shoulder. Yep. Like, right uh, over the defender's shoulder. Looking like Eli wow. Manning there. Hey. Depends on the year. But it, 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 it literally depends on the throw. I know you're thinking Manningham there. Yeah, you know exactly what I, I knew exactly I, the throw you're alluding I was to. thinking Andrew Claudio's on this watch party. Nah. Uh, Mark's gonna be okay. All right, he got thrown down. He's getting up. Good. Pepperidge Farm remembers the U and C P wars. There yeah, we go. They still exist. What's that? But... Four field goals? And one. Josh Hart. And we are checking Josh Hart, who has five five of six from the floor wow i think josh hart called heard me calling him ben simmons and he's like <laughs> oh really yes i can make layups <laughs> yes sean i agree greatest throw in super bowl history until um aaron Rodgers gets there with the jets love it listen the great things happen in threes we got the mets winning a game uh and an ob news now the jets are gonna win the super bowl we just, we just, just need that's the whole third thing. Yeah. Yeah. Listen, one, <laughs> one of two another, extremes for another 10 months. <laughs> it's one of two extremes, man. So he's either going to win the Super Bowl or run for vice president. Like, yeah. There's, there are no in between. There's no in between. There's no normal, like, he went 10 and seven and lost in the first round. Yeah. It'll either be yeah. Aaron Rodgers or we'll be rooting for Shadur Sanders. Yeah. How about that $81 raise he got? That was amazing <laughs> that he made, like, as much as we make on from playback a month, you know? <laughs> <laughs> All right, Knicks down eight. All right, Jalen Brunson on the wing here. Pass it back to Hart. Who passed yes. it? Yes, sir. That's not a foul. Here we go, Presh. Great shot. Great shot. Bang. Guys, we're going to have to start hitting threes. Yeah, they got to They got to make shots. Here's a thought. Oh, yeah, they, they listen. Can't miss. They listen Keegan. to you. I wasn't Keegan talking so to them. <laughs> Keegan's so tough. Yeah. All right. So back there up are, 11. There are two Tibbs offensive play calls that I recognize the call out for. Uh -huh. There's one where he goes like this. And then there's another where he like scrunches his forehead physically with his hand. But I've yet to determine what play either of those are because I've seen it be different things when he goes like this. So I, I really don't know how to interpret this. Um, Alvarez is him. I'm not watching. Oh, no. I, uh, I, uh, I, I fear I may have missed the only hit they'll have for the next week. Huh? Some of the chat said Alvarez is him. Yeah, he had, three, he had two hits in the first game today. Oh, okay. That was oh, you're talking. You thought they're playing now? No, the reason I was recording Mets theory, they played a double header today. Yeah, I, I was watching the. I watched both yeah. games. I thought they had another one tonight. That would be a triple header. No. I, well, no, with with space in between the second and third. The second one, the the second game is the one that they won. It was a single admission. Right. And then the the, fir the first game was the 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 Tuesday. It would be really silly if someone went to City on Tuesday in the rain. I felt so bad when I got covered the, alert, the game. Man. I felt so bad when I got the alert. Cuz I knew you were in the building just like Watching playing, the Knicks on the jumbo Tetris on your phone. Oh, okay. Watching the Knicks. That would be, <laughs> at least you got I, to enjoy that. That's funny you say that. That's my favorite phone game. It's so, a great, great phone game. I'm old enough. I used to play it on my calculator. I played it on my mom's Game Boy when she she gave me that when I was like four. Oh no, she gave you her Game Boy. Oh, I'm old. <laughs> it's my birthday present when I was ten. Yep. Yep. <laughs> got, a, got a Game Boy Color. Ah, uh, Deuce is in Josh Hart mode. I, can you blame him? Yeah, he's he's officially, his confidence is shot. That was yep. a, he passed up a three there. The ups and downs of being a young basketball player. Mm. He just has to have the confidence. And the Knicks, that, this is where it's good to have veterans around you because Devo, Brunson, and Josh Hart need to, like, if you're open, shoot it. Like, don't worry. As Benji tweets out, he can't pass up shots, though. Shoot it every time. I, I know injuries are kind of forcing this on the mix, but I don't think it was forced for them to play a heart 
precious Robinson front court. Let's never see that again. Maybe. Agreed. <laughs> yeah, let's just Agreed. not a lot of shooting. I mean, you could have Steph and Clay out there with those. Oh, Boyan in uh, for Devo. Did Devo just get another foul? Yeah, Devo has three fouls. So that's what that Makes is. Sense. That would do it. Okay, Josh Hart with the rebound. Brunson bringing it up. 4-4 four, four. is on the court to close the first half. Wow. There we go. Pass. I saw Bo with the pass. Pass again. Oh, it had Jalen uh, in the corner. Brunson, yeah. Oh, you got to shoot that. Yes, sir. Oh, juice. Oh, I got to make these, buddy. Keep shooting it. Uno McBride. They've <laughs> been demoted, at least for the first half. Don't oh, say no. that too loud. There are some serious deuce lovers in this fan base. I'm one of them. I was going to say, Chris is one of the captains. Damn. That's a that's a nice play from Trey Lyles. The, the Kings did the thing where they just like kept Harrison Barnes and Trey Lyles around instead of swapping them out for anyone because they went after Draymond and it didn't work. So they were like, all right, guess continuity is the move. And um, it, it's failed them in a lot of ways this season. The book's out on how to stop them. They've had to simplify the offense a little bit. Oh, that says that's Steve Cohen in the background. Andrew. I see him. Guy's oh, wow. actually okay to show himself in public now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he couldn't make public. He was like, damn it. I have courtside seats at the Knicks game, and these fucking Mets <laughs> are embarrassing me. What do you think about underwater chris almost like a mute button i'm so sorry <laughs> knock this down deuce yes thank you deuce there you go good to see him see one go down yeah that's the one he's gonna All hit right. another nine after this he's gonna break the record he's gonna go into halftime one of one we got to one of one before we couldn't hear you no more this is becoming a bit. I love it. It is. I'm loving it. We've turned technical difficulties into a bit. Someone in the chat said my lighting makes me look like Dante because of my haircut. <laughs> I could look worse. I'll take it. Dante's a good looking guy. Uh, yeah, I don't hate it. That my hair are reddish orange. We should have all done that in honor of Jeremy's birthday. Yes, happy birthday, Jeremy Cohen. We're going to say it on the post game tonight. Who is this? That's funny, Sean. That's funny. Oh, five star marks. That's there good. Is. I got it. It's a green minute. <laughs> they should fire strong marks. Imagine being big on Jeffrey. On your clothes, I heard Daquan Jeffries and then nothing after that. <laughs> Daquan Jeffries. Yes. Grace, after this quarter ends, leave and come back. We'll see if that resets it. Okay. And then I'm going to go eat a burrito. Mother. Sixers up 10, by the way, on Miami. I am ready for your conditioning to come all the way back, Mitch. His conditioning is going to come all the way back game one of the playoffs. Yeah. And it's going to be fucking glorious. Yeah, we have 48 minutes of Mitch and Hartenstein. Like, give me it's that. It's going to be amazing. And, like, no disrespect, Precious, but, like, you're Josh Hart's backup as far as I'm concerned. Or just, backup like, out of the rotation. Backup. Oof. That was a good that was a good cut and pass. Please score here, guys. Okay. They cut a 21-point lead down to this, though. I'm I'm already – some shot making in the third quarter. I'm more con- – I'm, I'm, we're right back in it. Yeah, JB. Bang! Wow. Oh, with Two one on second left. Yeah. He said someone's open. Watch this. Ooh. What was that with Josh and Darren? On the I other think he was just fucking with him. I think. I hope he was just fucking with him. He <laughs> saw that too. He went and like tickled him. 
<laughs> All right, halftime. Knicks down 60 to 52. Some stats. Jalen Brunson. Jalen Brunson has 18 points on six of eight shooting. Really an efficient Jalen Brunson night. Uh, Dante DiVincenzo has seven points on two of eight, two of six from three. Uh, Josh Hart, 12 points, six assists, three rebounds uh, on six shots. Uh, Miles McBride finally saw one go down. He's one of eight from the field, one of six from uh, three. Uh, Boyan Bogdanovich, seven points on four field goal attempts. I'm counting that as a positive. Uh, Any first half thoughts, fellas? We're not down double digits after they shot the, the lights out. Which is awesome. Um, sixty-four percent from the field, sixty-five percent from the field for the Kings in the first first half. So yes, you're correct. And they're winning the rebound battle by one. Mm-hmm. I don't understand how the Knicks always end up somehow shooting more shots than the other team. Well, three uh, offensive, three three the, more the offensive boards. Yeah, the yeah. boards. That's that's part of their DNA. You know the possession yeah, oh. battle. This is good. We have an efficient Jalen Brunson night. Five for seven from the field. Five for I five just, from three. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm <laughs> all over the place. Um, yeah, no, definitely. That's that is encouraging. That's the most encouraging thing of this whole thing because he's been struggling a little bit. So good to see him get right against the Kings. Do you want me to put on the uh, Sixer Heat game while you guys do trivia? I mean, it's there's only 44 seconds left in the first half. You yeah, are right. First half, yeah. Oh, they're up by 16, though. Oh. Okay. I'm gonna put on. There's no other game to put on. Warriors, um, Rockets. That has 44 seconds left in the first quarter. The first okay, quarter, I'll put yeah. that on for you. Yeah, cool. Okay, I'm gonna put that on for you, and I'm gonna go eat food. All right, Chris, Enjoy, even come back, even come back. Okay, all right. So I'm probably not gonna do trivia, uh, because I'm not a trivia kind of guy. Let's see. I think there's a world where the Knicks with full strength OG are as good without Randall as with him in the playoffs. Maybe slightly lower ceiling, but more ball movement. And well, I mean, this is a good comment, Rise, because I think that the Knicks here, without a guy like Julius Randall, you can say that the Knicks made it to game six of the playoffs last year of the second round of the playoffs last year without Julius Randle, because he wasn't himself in the playoffs, right? He was dealing with this ankle injury and um, he gave us some um, abhorrent effort. A lot of it could have been because of the ankle that he had surgery on, but it was just, it was really hard to watch. So not having that guy on the court. I mean, we don't have RJ Barrett this year and we don't have Emmanuel quickly, but Emmanuel quickly really wasn't himself offensively in the playoffs last year. The defense was excellent. Um, I think having an o- OG Ananobi with this unit and Deuce McBride, if he can play healthy, I think this Knicks ceiling is right around where it was last year. Um, we were two games away from the Eastern Conference Finals. I think that we will see a similar outcome depending on who we get in that second round as Chris Paul hits a three. That's okay. Um, yeah, I don't disagree. I think the defense will be more reliable this year, even though the defense wasn't a problem for us in the playoffs last year, I think having Hartenstein, uh, Mitchell Robinson, Josh Hart, and Deuce McBride and OG Ananobi, I think having that unit out there is going to really, really, really make a difference for the Knicks because it's going to be really hard to score on us. It's going to be really hard to score on us, and I think Jalen Brunson is going to be his usual unstoppable self. We just need our guys to hit shots. Think about if because they don't take low quality shots, right? Um, think about if Deuce McBride, instead of being one for six tonight, imagine if he's three for six, right? Then that's what the Knicks are down 58 to 60. Or if DiVincenzo, instead of being two for six it, or two for eight from the field, is four for eight from the field, right? These guys, we just need them to hit their shots. If we can hit shots in the playoffs because the offense is creating open looks off of Jalen Brunson's gravity and Isaiah Hartenstein's brilliant passing, if this team can hit shots, then we're in a good place. I I fully I fully believe that. Um, just got to see these guys hit shots. It's, it's a lot easier to hit shots when we have a second shot creator on the court, but it doesn't mean that the shots that they're missing are difficult. They just have to hit their open shots. All right, as the Rockets and Warriors are going at it tonight. What do we got? 33-24. 
Golden State. I'm very happy to see Golden State beating the Rockets. I am absolutely a Rockets hater, so <laughs> let's see. Hmm. Man. What do we got here? Flex cam. Bro. Yeah, nah, he's strong. <laughs> he's a big guy. <laughs> I'm going to take this shirt off. That's hilarious. Got a little muscle. Yeah, show the guns off, kid. He took his shirt off. <laughs> I've got a, uh, I've got good news and bad news. Which okay. do you want first? Let's get the bad news. Um. After Miami opened the second quarter with the 17 to 4 run, Philadelphia had a 20 to 1 run and then Miami scored eight straight. So the Sixers are up 63 to 55 at halftime. That's an 8 point margin for a team that when Andrew put the stream on for a total of 4 seconds was up about 16 points. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that oh wow, shit. Damn. That happened fast, didn't it? The good news is that my pancetta and ricotta pizza that I made that I just finished off camera so that I'm not eating on the playback anymore was really, really good. Well, that's that's I'm happy for you, friend. <laughs> I'm very happy. <laughs> I'm very happy for you. That's wonderful. And your mic sounds good, which is good, which is cool. That's what we do. <laughs> uh, but now you're back underwater. No way. Oh, maybe it was just a volume thing because then you like as you screamed like oh okay. everything went well yeah I don't know okay. if it's illegal should I do play by play for this uh, to fill the time yeah why not I don't have any trivia <laughs> Paul left wing looking for Jackson Davis pulls up and doesn't passes to himself that's a walk the Houston Rockets will take that the other way the same way they might take a trip to Cancun after the regular season's over the Golden State Warriors just climbing above them in the standings. Trace Jackson Davis, the impressive neophyte from Indiana University, coached by none other than Mike Woodson in his long season. Once a Nick, always a Nick. Lots of college experience, but one season under Woodson for Jackson Davis, and there's a three from the right corner to Michael Green. No good. Over the back foul, back and foul. Okay. this is going to go down the other way. Cam Whitmore, the draft class number three prospect, who slipped to 20 due to concerns of a degenerative knee condition, has certainly had an up-and-down rookie year. Some games he'll score 20-25 and look like the star that was promised, but other times he shows a superpower. He's able to turn invisible out there, Mensa. Yeah, yeah yes, it's it's not what you like. I was very high on Cam Whitmore coming out, um, and I still don't forgive the Dallas Mavericks for not allowing us to pick them for tanking. But, um, <laughs> yeah, no, Cam Whitmore – a guy I'm really high on and a guy that could end up in trade talks this offseason because we know. Oh, good pass. Holy moly. <laughs> there is Chris Paul being the point God that we once knew. Did you see uh, Doc Rivers do a, the TikTok trend of like you lean your head and you pick a player in a in a bracket? <laughs> Excuse me. And it was Chris Paul and Paul Pierce. And he went with Paul Pierce. Of course, he went with Paul Pierce. Look at this at, championship. You gotta wipe the glass, man. What is this camera <laughs> angle? <laughs> <laughs> a lot of sweat on that camera. None other than Whitmore at the line. Bends the knees. First one, nothing but net. Yeah, like I was saying, um, Houston Rockets, a team to watch this offseason, man. All these young prospects and Ime Udoka, who does not, who is king, fuck them kids, and probably really wants to see this team go after a star this off season. So Cam Whitmore, a name to watch this off season, maybe changing teams. Yeah. I think the Rockets, the Magic, and the Knicks will be the three teams most heavily after Rockets. Yeah. Right there with you. Uh, definitely. I think the Rockets will be at the front of the line. The For Embiid, you've everywhere. been on that. Yeah. I've been, it, it, I think it's, it's really 
seamless, especially with Tim McMahon saying that they're willing to trade Sangoon. Well, not saying that they're willing to trade Sangoon, but intimating that he's not sure if Sangoon is a lock to remain a Rocket. He shouldn't be. Yeah, he should. I mean, great prospect, but. Oh, my. Oh, wow. There's Clay. <laughs> One thing Clay hates is the youth. So to see Tar, <laughs> he's definitely doing this rubbing in Tar Easton's face. Four of seven from downtown. And one of one inside the arc is Clay Thompson. Holy crap, Ola. Mr. Aaron Holiday, right? Yeah. Yes, sir. The third Holiday. The Fowler. <laughs> the, fa- the known Fowley. Yusufa. <laughs> Fowler. Here we go. Pods to Moody, a guy I was really high on in that draft class. Here's Thompson wriggling inside. One legged step back. Would do you practice that shot? <laughs> Pat Ewing would say, Clay says, yes, I do, Pat. Yeah. <laughs> Cash money, 67% from the floor are the Golden State Warriors. Looks like me on a math quiz. Here's Whitmore in the left corner. <laughs> Almost hit the sidestep like he was playing NBA Jam, decided not to, and he resets. To Uncle Jeff. Oh, that's Uncle Jeff, not Jamichael? That's Jeff. Oh, that guy is still in the – oh, now, that's your... <laughs> now I know yes. it's Jeff. <laughs> I was just going to say, <laughs> the reason I, I know is Jeff. Is Jeff is the only guy in the NBA with, years old. with a hairline and no hair. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Thompson, right baseline, looking to spin and win, fading away. Oh, Clay man. Thompson. As he glares at the Houston Rockets bench. He can't oh, miss. Man. He is going crazy. You see a man Thompson getting the ball. Hop step. One, two. Skip to his Lou inside. No good, but a foul on the play. The Rockets will head to the free throw line. Amen Thompson, their representative, he's had quite the rookie season. If you look at the statistics, of course, you'll get a mixed bag of a story. Eight minutes, four points thus far, and now six against the Warriors. He had nine points, nine rebounds, four assists, and three steals against the Timberwolves. When he gets to go up against a team like the Thunder that's not as athletic, well, 25 points, 15 rebounds, and four assists on 10 of 18 shooting. That's one hell of a stat line. He followed that up with 18, 14, 5, 2, and 1 against the Jazz of Utah. Clay now 7 for 10. A men showing a maybe reformed shot form there. I just want to correct you. I know you call them the Jazz of Utah. They are the Jazz of U-turn because they did well, and then now they hit a U-turn at the middle of the season to stink up the joint, and it's very <laughs> shameful what they've done. But that's all I have to say about them. They all got right. sick of winning. They did too much winning. <laughs> exactly. And winning stuff's not good for them. Not right now. Jock Londale to Amen Thompson, a guy that you've described as, as a walking paint touch. And you see it right there, but, ah, but Pods much, gets in the way. Too much dip on the chip. The NBA's leading charge taker adds to his total. Brandon Podzemski, a.k.a. Jeremy Cohen out there. <laughs> Speaking of uh, Mr. Fuck Them Kids, he may go <laughs> on the bench. <laughs> yeah, he. Yeah, I'm. I'm not too sure about this Rockets team. Is they are the team that I'm very focused on, and it's not even just because like I think they're the Embiid team. I think they they will get somebody because they have too many enticing assets. Okay, Steph's back on the court. Okay, Steph and CP. CP made millions in the mid-range. He's broken a lot of hearts in that spot on the court. Oh, where are we? Jabari Smith Jr. That guy is like if Michael Porter Jr. was more versatile, when, which MPJ is, is really good nowadays. Yeah, but there's a reason he went, you know, third overall behind, who was it, Paolo and Chet? There's Chet. a reason for that. Yeah, like, and he was, he could have gone first. A lot of people had. said yeah. he was going to go first. I had Chet number one, Paolo number two, Ivy three, and Jabari four. And I regret that last-minute switch of Jabari and Ivy only because Jabari's shown now this season on a serious team that he can really contribute. Without Sengun, they've been surviving, but there was a game that Jabari got suspended for 
And with no Sengun and no Smith Jr., Houston looked like a team where everyone had just met each other that morning. So, you know, Smith doesn't have the greatest passing game. He's not the best shooter in the league, but he's good enough at all of that stuff that yep. he really is, you know, one of the, the guys who makes up the glue of this team. Yeah, sometimes Jaylen Green. all you need is a jack of all trades and a master of none. They, uh, and, well, Smith has the thing that the difference between guys like Dyson Daniels and Denny Avdia, who are the jack of all trades, master of none type, is that Smith is four inches taller than either of them. There so you go. Yeah. <laughs> he's able to shoot over people with ease. There's Curry finishing inside, scores his seventh point and makes it an eight point lead for Golden State. Fred Van Vliet, the point guard on the other side, finding Jabari Smith. He'll shoot from three again. No good off the right iron. Curry almost fell into the fans going for the rebound. He goes the other way now. You love? Oh, oh my boy. Lord. Yeah. That's no good. Draymond Green with the Mitchell Robinson-esque Fine. volleyball rebound. That's... and Curry walking to the paint. No one in his way. Is the, uh, is the game back? or ah, Did Andrew switch it from afar? <laughs> wow, that's interesting. I know I didn't try to switch it. He can do that? He did. Wow. My money on Andrew. <laughs> okay, it looks like the second quarter, the second half's about to start here. Good bet, um, Nemo. Okay, we don't want the Kings to take care of the ball. We don't want that. We want them to continue to turn it over. All right, here we go. Interesting look to start the second half. Deuce McBride full court. Hey, set the tone. Ellis just camped in the corner. You know what he's waiting for. Look, look, he's got the shot, too. <laughs> gotcha, Andrew. Enjoy yeah. that, Rito. <laughs> Did they really call that on Hartenstein? Okay. Respect. I I get it. <laughs> I figured. We figured. I, I think the mic's good because I um I left and rejoined, and then Mensa said it went underwater for a second, but I just talked loud, and then it came back. So hopefully I'm taming the beast here. <laughs> it has no choice but to yield to your <laughs> bustling and booming voice. Here we go. And one. That was easy to predict. Yeah, deuces. At some, like... Three years, two, three years down the line, guys are just not going to be able to do that shit to Deuce anymore. <laughs> He's going to be a world of frustration. But now in his first real NBA minutes, you know, seeing De'Aaron Fox for, I believe, the second time, he, he's still learning the tricks that these guys have. And at some point, a Deuce is going to be a stalwart. But that point is not today. Yeah, you know, I was just interviewing Adam Mades earlier today. Um uh, for for the Ball is Life show, and and he was saying how he was watching that Knicks Thunder game, thinking Deuce McBride has done an A plus job on Shea Gilgis Alexander. Please don't put him on Shea for this last possession because he's going to shoot over him. And as Brunson shoots over pretty much everyone on the Kings roster, Knicks get a bucket, sixty three fifty four. Your score a minute into this third quarter, Brunson's now up to a ceremonious twenty points, only three assists for him, but seven of nine from the floor. You really got no complaints. None at all. Murray from way downtown. No good. Get Gets his, his own, own board rebound. and puts it in. That's a 2K play Not right there. Looked like Gumby reaching around the Knicks defense. Holy. Yeah, Chris, you just don't like seeing that. That's just an effort play, you know? And you should not be getting outworked down double digits in your own building. So hopefully the Knicks, you know, that that's a wake-up call for the Knicks there. You can't let the three-point shooter get his own rebound. Yeah, there's Keon Ellis. He's a pest. Kings must have missed. Okay, JB. Let's see. Ooh. Hey, good now. time. And one. No oh, foul? my Lord. And one and none. How about that? Murray. He can hit the three at the other end. Wow, five-point swing. Six. That's frustrating. The six point, yeah. <laughs> That's frustrating. Six-point swing if you think he got fouled and would have made it. That felt forced at best. Oh, my. Yeah. There you go. Oh, man. This looks like it's about to get out of hand. Um, You know, maybe. 
That's a charge. He was so set. Yep, there it is. There we go. The NBA's second leading charge taker gets his 30th of the season. Brunson wow, that's came big. into tonight at 29. Yeah. Foul Bader. Yeah, he really, really, really. Oh, my. That's four on Keegan Murray. Wait, the tide could turn for the that's Knicks huge. here. Yeah. You can hear Thibodeau screaming. Oh, Good what time. a what? Hartenstein finds Deuce McBride cutting back door like it's no one else's business. That's You know what that reminds me of? Kyle O'Quinn to Doug McDermott. Great, great, great pull. I was thinking Landry Fields in the in the um early 20 teens, but that is an excellent pull right there. It's Especially that it's that random role player to role player. And obviously Hartenstein and McBride now to this team are just a little, you know, Hartenstein's a little more than a role player. He's a real that's starter. The same play that they used to run. Wow. They run from the left side though, but wow, what a wow, what a pull. That is an excellent that is an excellent, excellent call. <laughs> oh, Thibodeau's not happy. The sky is blue. The the F word there was foul, but <laughs> he usually gets both in. Yeah, Kyle O'Quinn was awesome. The the one thing I could never get over was the refusal to tweet anything other but the first letter of every word of the sentence he was intending to tweet. So like if he was saying something like Jalen Brunson is an amazing player for the New York Knicks, he would just tweet in all caps J B I A A P F T N Y K. And you had to sit there and be like, what the hell is this guy trying to say? Speaking in code. Josh Dante, Ruffer, three up, three down. There we go. Knicks down nine. Do the Knicks have life? I will tell you after, if, depending on if De'Aaron Fox makes a three here. Here we go. They look for Harris. Barnes is going to use the height against Hart. Wow. Wow. Hart over height, baby. Here we go. 4 3. Ah, oh, come on. Brunson's been short on his last three misses. You think maybe. Oh, my. Ooh. No call either way there. I love that from the refs. Okay. Hard over height once again. He has Devo on the wing. He's going to shoot this. Knicks down six. We love it. Let's go. Let's go. We can make shots, too. That's what I'm talking about. The Knicks started the game like one of seven from three. Deuce 0 of six on his own. Uh, or like 0 of 4 or 0 of 5. That, no, he was, yeah, it was 0 of 5, and the Knicks started the game something like 1 of 5 from 3. The Kings started 5 of 7, as GMAC called out. Um, they went from 3 of 4 to 5 of 7. So, you know, that was a great start for them, but the Knicks have fought back. Knicks, man. We were on the town hall talking about, you know, what would be a disappointing end to the season for everybody. And for me, it's just like, how can I be disappointed in this group? Every night they go out there and they give their all. Even when they don't have it, they give their all, unless they're playing San Antonio. But that's another story. Um, you just love to see it. These guys continue to fight no matter what the score is, going down, what, 17 early on, only down, what, six here? Just got to love. You love to see it at all times. What are we doing here? Yeah, I don't even know what's going on. <laughs> Chris looks like Young Thug in the studio. <laughs> That's my best friend, best friend. <laughs> three. It's three. It's three. Um, ben, that's funny. There it is. There it is. She got a thousand dollars for that. Wow. 
Well, you know, after taxes in New York, it's like 400 bucks, but. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I, Dirty Dancer, the house money phase, that's a very fair place to be. Like I said earlier, um, you know, the Knicks know very well from the, the We Here 2021 season that one shot creator is not enough to get you past the first round. This team and the power of friendship – might get to the second round depending on who they draw in the first round. But it, it, it really gets to a point where if they're playing Philadelphia, Miami, Milwaukee, Boston, or Cleveland, you should expect a loss. And Cleveland is tough because even, even they are kind of starting to fall apart. It doesn't seem like Donovan Mitchell is long for the state of Ohio. Um, who could have seen that coming? <laughs> But uh, I, I do think that the Cavs have a shot. Evan Mobley's been playing really inspired basketball recently. Let's hit up Stat Muse for a quick inquiry. In his last 10 games, Evan Mobley is averaging 16.5 points, 8.5 rebounds, and 4.5 assists, which I'm intrigued by. Well, we call him Evan Garnett around here, so I'm not sure who Evan Mobley is. Nice ice cream sweater, by the way. I like that. Hey, um, thank you, man. Garnett uh, was a dog. dog, though, man. We call no, we call him Evan Garnett because everybody compares him. Well, oh, I see, I see. Calling him Kevin Garnett, and he's like, and he's like Kevin Garnett without the K, without the killer instinct. So Evan Garnett is what we call him. Ah, that's funny. Okay, that's actually exactly that was my only issue with the comparison. If it were unironic, so I, I think that's very good. <laughs> Evan with no K. Well, Kevin without a K. Evan Garnett. Uh, oh, four fouls for Deuce. Five points, four fouls. Yeah, Aaron Fox is making him work tonight. Corner. Oh, he didn't see it. Isaiah. Ooh. <laughs> funny Sean um that's tough that was a nice defensive possession from the Knicks until they threw the rebound out of bounds so okay see what Sacramento cooks up love that to Sabonis inside and they folded Knicks ball okay cool Knicks ball down six here Ah, held on to that a second too long. Really? Okay. Well, instead of complaining, um, no matter what the decision was from Hart, I thought he held on to that ball a second too long. He took like, look look at this here. Yeah. That needed to just be a shovel pass to DiVincenzo right away. You're not creating any spacing by standing closer to him when you're a non-shooter yourself. That's a great shot. Yeah, this King's offense is special. They're really good, man. That's, you know, you when you joined, that's what I was talking about, where it was the amount of wrinkles. Oh, that's a great fake handoff from JB, but you got to make your money off that. Here we go, Josh. Oh, oh. Tough. 14 points for Josh Hart, man. Great play, Jalen. Sealing off Keegan, making it tough on him to get that basketball. Now it's your ball again, down seven. Go make something happen. Don't force. Oh, my. Pass. One more. Get her pass. Big finish. Let's go. Oh, oh, oh. Hey, now. Would you look at that? Man, the stockbroker is getting into his options tonight. I love it. Let's go. <laughs> Josh Hart making shots all over the place. Welcome back, GMAC. Look at that. Mm, one option. Mm, we love it. Love hey, to now. see it. If either of you go underwater. If either of you go underwater, I'm just going to mute my mic because – the Knicks have momentum, too. I'm, I'm trying not to jinx anything. <laughs> As Josh Hart misses a free throw. Bye, guys. <laughs> <laughs> you probably had, 
<laughs> probably went to get something to drink. I don't know. Probably went for a Red Bull. <laughs> oh my god, I'm dead. Here we go. I'm cool with it though. Yes, <laughs> I know. <laughs> <laughs> that was too good, Vincent. There we go. Oh, that's an N one. Yeah, that guy has such crazy touch. You know when the shot goes up, if it's near the rim, it's going in. I was so surprised by his miss around the rim really early in the game and from the post. Yeah, yeah, it, he's unbelievable, bro. He He's one of those guys who is archetype locked out of ever being an NBA Twitter darling. When you're a five who can't defend the rim, you are going to be someone that just sucks to everyone. Like, for example, Nikola Jokic was always talked about as someone who like couldn't win at the highest level, would never make it to the finals, never made a conference fight, and then all of a sudden he's the best player in the world. For Sabonis, yeah. I think it's like I made this analogy recently about Sengu, and he's the kind of guy who like in those you have fifteen dollars to build a lineup, like he'll be like four dollars. Oh my lord, Almighty dimes! Hey now, dimes! I heart, you dropped something. Dimes. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh man. You dropped your crown, King. Oh Isaiah my Hartenstein, 10 cents poorer after that play. Goodness gracious. This guy has acorns, the app. After every decision, just loose change. Oh my goodness. Another bucket incoming. This guy's yeah. having too much fun. You can't oh. let him get. Oh, okay. That's their ball. How dare you doubt Isaiah Hartenstein? <laughs> Bro, those passes. Oh, my goodness. Look, look at this. Look at this. Right look, at this. look at the no look in the in the shooting pocket. Oh, my God. Isaiah yeah. Hartenstein. Ladies and gentlemen, bright skin Hartenstein. <laughs> Great comment, Dirty Dancer. The Randall Sabonis wars were really good. Oh, my. And that's why Deuce McBride should not be guarding a 6'10 paint dominant center. Sasha Vizenkov uh, is, is fun. He was a fun addition to this Kings team, but I don't know if he gets like all his minutes. Uh, cut. Josh Hart. Mm. He, 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 they both cut. He did it again, though, where like even if it's a bad decision, you've got to make one type of thing. Thanks, commentators. Um, <laughs> Should have been an N one. No, no, it shouldn't have been. Yeah, let's get Mike Brown with the laptop at the post game presser again, showing the media the place and where the foul. That's so honestly top five Ooh. moments. Yeah, that was special. That that's that's like infinitely better than take that for data. Just Way better. Literally Way. showing the place to the media and point it. You said y'all see that? Do y'all see that? <laughs> it was great? <laughs> it was great. Oh, I think man. a hot take, it's like miles better than the Pat Bev camera moment. I thought that was a little corny. Oh, yeah, yeah. The camera was, I mean, yeah. Give me that deuce. There we go. Deuce He's been re-promoted to Trey McBride, two of two on his last two. Who is – I mean, these are wrinkles in the Knicks offense we've frankly never seen before. Getting a three-point shooter open by using him as a role man is just – haven't seen it from the Knicks. Oh, man. That's a great I knew he even was going to make that but because his face was so mean. As he shot, <laughs> he was dialed in, man. So each these teams have taken twenty. Oh my god! Oh, that's frustrating. But Josh went for it. That's awesome. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is what we call. Good old fashioned shot creation. Defense collapse, you kick it out. Mitchell Robinson at the scorer's table. And Why are we giving him his left? Oh, there you go. Mind. You're giving him the his offhand, giving him his right hand. Yeah, JB put the turbo boost on. Up oh, foul baiting. <laughs> like. Brunson's a foul baiter on defense because he's literally my height. So, like, he'll flop and stuff. 
Um, but offensively, he it's not talks. often it's not often you see him go for the contact instead of a good shot. Like he's not someone who just throws some crap up because he thinks he'll draw a foul. Yeah, saying he's a foul baiter is like saying Melo is a foul baiter. No, they're just tough, and guys because they are tough have to hit them. It is it's not foul baiting at all. It's just it's, it's the way they play the game. Even Randall, to an extent, too, draws a lot of uncalled contact because he's so strong, the contact bounces off of him. If he showed that he was getting hit more, they might call it, but that's not supposed to be how things go is the, yeah. the problem. It's just on the Knicks to adjust to that. Like, Tibbs will be the first to say the guys didn't adjust to how the game was being called. That's oh wow yeah yeah JB look at Josh yeah, Jate. yeah Josh touchdown it's my third down running back I thought you only got to gather if you were already dribbling um, I don't care but I'm not a, down three <laughs> I'm not a snitch every time I see Josh Hart on the fast break I I'm just reminded of Ahmad Bradshaw <laughs> look there at that go. another defensive play Josh oh Wait, that's the oh, tie the oh, game tie the game oh we needed that. Ooh, ah. That was smooth like silk, man. That's his strong hand. Ah, <laughs> uh, down just like that. Five point swing could have been a tie game. Instead, we are down five. Still feels like an uphill battle, but we're getting closer to the top of the hill. Pick and screen away. Uh, Josh just stands there. Jalen, not happy, but you've got to get back on defense, my boy. Uh. That's what yeah. he does. Look at Colby Jones gassing up his guys in the warm up. Oh, there's the Tibbs timeout. Yeah, they got to they gotta recalibrate. Is there any other head coach in the league who has his guys like a literal like scripted play when they're calling timeout and dribble right over to the bench, call it. It's like the most predictable, you know, what's like going to happen to, I feel like other teams do that. Lot, yeah. But is that. every single time, like literally every single, like, I think there's like a 98% rate of Nick's frustration timeouts. I thought like, he just wants it in front of the, their own bench. And yeah. Your mic's not connected. I don't think I, know, I did it on purpose. Cause it might, okay. Make it so Chris doesn't go underwater. Okay, good point. Yeah, it's just me testing it out. So apologies. I know it sounds worse, but I'm going for worse right now. Actor, the pianist. What about winning time? Ah, they don't want to say Pat Riot. There it is. <laughs> it's either actor. Chris, you won an Oscar for the pianist. Like, yeah, but it's basketball. I I know him as Adrian Brody from The Pianist. So. I know he's in Winning Time, and I love that show. But who? Are you, what are you doing? Oh, Kiss Cam. Okay, I was like, "What are you doing?" <laughs> <laughs> uh, look at the guy like, in the background chugging his. <laughs> I need Benji on the on here. Benji's at the game tonight, by the way. Yeah. Hey yo. Okay. Oh, that's a lot. Oh. It's a lot, guys. <laughs> okay. Family show. Thanks Aww. for keeping it classy, guys. There you go. Morgan State. Shout out to the HBCUs. <laughs> the people in the background are always the fun. <laughs> you can tell people there's there are people who have no idea how to be on camera when they do this. Like, oh look, look what I'm doing. Oh, that was the cheat. Oh. oh. Damn, there bro. You go. Oh goodness. Oh, I like the sweater. Aw. Looks like sweater. the... Uh, the oh, oh, hey, they, they were already even, going at it. They didn't even know there's a cam. There's a kiss cam. Yeah, oh, that, them either. Yeah. yeah, they didn't even know there's a kiss cam. Karen caught him. Went from kiss cam to caught cam. Mm. <laughs> caught. They weren't supposed to be at the game. Actually, together. Rise has the better one. Adrian Brody from Angels in the, out, in the Outfield. Ha! That cast... I don't know if you guys seen that movie... In the last 10 years or so. You know, you know I haven't. Chris, Adrian Brody, Matthew McConaughey, Danny Glover, Tony. Da Do you know anybody that I just mentioned, by the way? Yeah, yeah. Okay, I, lo just sure. 
Danny Glover is awesome. Yeah, he's he's like, Christopher uh, Lloyd, Danny Glover, Joseph Gordon Lovett as just like or Levitt, excuse me, as just like a kid in that movie. I, I know Danny Glover from Lethal Weapon, but also The Color Purple. Yes. Yeah, look at that. Those are the things to know him from too. Look at you. <laughs> Slowly working towards redemption. And his famous line from Lethal Weapon is, he's getting what? Too... Too old for this. There you go. Old for this shit. Shit. Yes, yes. I, didn't, I, I don't know about the playback rules. I didn't know. We can curse. I've been saying crap. John's been on playback. Relax. Oh, okay. Yes. <laughs> Man, fuck Jaime mm. Hawkeye's doing it for life. I, oh, Sean nice. had the tweet of the day. Matthew McConaughey was the center fielder, Sean, that gets carried in the beginning of the movie when they discover that there are angels. Oh, um, I interview Matt Mulder tomorrow, speaking of oh, baseball movies. Nice. Okay. <laughs> Where's he doing now? I, I you know, I, I think it's something along the lines of uh um I didn't know like he's like on a team. Oh or... Mark, Mark, sorry, Mark. Mark, Mark Mulder. Mulder. I, I figured the two it was. Yeah. Um, I I believe he Josh Hart. oh Josh Hart over the shoulder. I don't know if he's like a pitching coach or something somewhere. But... He, he's doing like TV, like analyst okay. stuff. He tried professional golf after retiring, which is something. Okay, Josh Hart's twenty points. He's yeah. going for a twenty point triple double, which is rare for him. That's usually ten, ten, and ten on the dot. Oh, Davion shaking bacon. That's a long two. Yeah, there's the six rebound. Here goes assist number. Oh, Look no. He's at Josh, Hart. Josh Hart. Josh Hart. Look at Josh Hart. Man on a mission. He said, y'all need a second offensive option? Okay. Touchdown Josh Hart, man. Well, Josh I know. Hart is on, man. Oh, go ahead. I know oh, he's no. frustrated about the amount of his shot there attempts. There you go, Mitch. Late in the shot clock. Maybe this game is him trying to start reversing that trend. Dante in the corner, if you look. Dante in the No, Dante. there's a man in the passing lane. Oh, that's how you get it there, though. Yeah. But th they already knew. Oh, there we go. Uh, floater, floater. Uh, mm, I only Mitch. encouraged next the floater because Mitch was there. But Yeah, I was thinking Mitch the same thing. Gonna... That's, a, that's a dunk next week. <laughs> <laughs> next week, that shit is going down. The concept of Mitchell Robinson being in like the Doncic and Jokic play themselves into shape every season group is so funny. No, that is actually hilarious. I will take one of two right now. Bro, but Mitch. Big dog. He's uh, I would love to be on playback for Mitch's first putback dunk. When mm -hmm. he was averaging 5.1 off and mm. all, he, he sticks the tongue out and you know he's missing. <laughs> um it's like the, it's like the reverse jordan yeah um it, he was averaging 5.1 offensive rebounds per game at the start of this year and i'm pretty sure that was the best number since artist gilmore if it had carried out that is a that's a great stat but anytime you can reference ours oh, there's, there's the, the one, one. there we go down three, down again. three you stop there you go deuce just don't foul bro you got four fouls Boy on with a rebound. I love it. Yeah, give it. Off night on Devo. Former teammates, I think. Oh, wait a minute. We are tied up, folks. Let's go. Let's go. There are times where I want to scream. Be loud and belligerent, and then you have and a child. Yeah. I remember I have a four month <laughs> baby, and I'm like, you know what? I will let everybody else do ah, it. For me. Ah, off night. Get this rebound, Mitch. There you go. Take the lead, guys. Without Brunson on the floor, by the way. Big. That's gigantic. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. And a foul. Yeah. Let's go. Look at yes, Spike. Sir. Spike got that Brunson like puffer vest and jersey. He has worn it every game he goes never, to. He showers in it, bro. Like he doesn't take it off. 
Oh, that's cold. Did he look at the camera oh, for that? Cold. He knew exactly where the camera <laughs> was. Oh, man. I know Tech's going to clip that. Oh, yeah, he's man. really good at what he's, he does. That yeah, no, nah, he's great. There we go. And the Knicks officially have the lead. Shout out to Tony Brothers for no reason other than he's Tony Brothers. Um, 84-86, New York with about 32 seconds left in the third quarter. If you're in Fox, not having fun now, huh, bitch? <laughs> if you're a Carmelo Anthony fan, you just cringe at Mensa's shout out. Um, oh, yeah. Him and, <laughs> they did not like each other. I think a good rule of thumb with referees is if you know their name, they better like be funny <laughs> because otherwise – it's for no good reason. Yeah. Like I did like Ed Malloy. <laughs> no one knows who the best ump in baseball is, right? But everyone knows Angel. And yeah. that's like <laughs> you know. Good defense. Oh man. Good moves. That's just oh, good shit. offense. That's just better God offense. Damn. When he hits shots like that, he's maybe the most I, unstoppable player. He's doing way. That's your clutch player right there. <laughs> Benji. It's lit. It's lit. Yeah. <laughs> Dude's pass the ball. Oh, that was a Randall end of. I mean, R.I.P. But like, that was a Randall end of the recover in discussion. peace. By the way, guys. <laughs> yes, recover in peace. Yes, sorry. Thank you for that save. I got you. <laughs> that was a that, that was a Zach Wilson throw, but a Garrett Wilson catch right there. <laughs> Thank you, Metza. <laughs> We're in the end zone now. Um, Okay, what do we got? Knicks 87, 80. Knicks Kings say, 87, 87. Yeah, uh, going into the fourth quarter. How are we feeling, guys? Um, Positively, because the NBA is a game of runs, but it's also a, a sport of what have you done for me recently, not what have you done for me ever. And that recent momentum for the Knicks is going to help them a lot. Of course, Fred Katz and his wonderful stat recaps at the end of every quarter will serve a great purpose here. Josh Hart, 22, 6, and 8 assists. That guy has more assists than rebounds right now, but he's going for the trip dub. Brunson, 22 points, 6 assists. This guy's got a Marbury jersey on. I know why they picked him tonight. Here we go. He's getting right after it. Oh, man. Oh, he, you know, the, like the shot looks good, which is what's almost painful about this, is it looks like a nice routine jump shot. There we okay. go. Six times the charm, as they say. He got that Morbury jersey in 04, by the way. That's why it's so baggy. Um, That's uh, yeah. Here you go. That 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 draft suit fit. Oh wait a minute! I'm rooting for this guy. Oh no, that's off. In triple nah. double news, De'Aaron Fox has 23 seven. And Woo! Three. Yes, sir. He yeah. hit it. He's gonna get the half court shot, right? Yeah, yeah. Oh, he's a, he's he's pumped. We need the the Brunson version of LeBron he's running pumped. out and tackling the guy who hit the half court shot for fifty k. Actually, I, it would be it would be Josh Hart. We know that. I or OG Ananobi, which would be hilariously. Ironic. No, OG doesn't leave the bench. He, he, here's, oh, here's, oh, bro! What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> you guys, you guys know that Jarrett Jack shot. <laughs> What the hell was that? What the fuck was that, yeah. Kanye? Oh, God. <laughs> That's a great reference, man. Did not tell you. Say something for the kids. <laughs> something for the kids. Sing. <laughs> Talk about waving oh, heads. Man. How about you with all your heads in the air? And wave goodbye to every motherfucker. <laughs> Sean, yes, they will, but he'll have $1,000. Oh, Actually, I would. I four hundred dollars after tax to show. Oh man. oh man, if that was one of my friends, I'd be facetiming him right now. Oh my gosh, that was great. Oh that my great. goodness, that's hilarious. Whew. That's awesome. All right, survive the non-Brunson minutes. Mm. Isn't that a thing that should happen? Yeah. All right. 87 87. Brunson has 22 on 13. Hart has 22 on 13. Also, 22, 6, and 8. 
that you see the Knicks just need one guy other than Jalen Brunson to show up. Tonight it's been Josh Hart. Once Literally. there's once yeah. another guy shows up, the Knicks can compete with anybody. Mm-hmm. To show up above a role player, mentally. yeah, like exactly. that, that's I, I agree with that point because I think all their role players usually show up if they get one guy to take a leap of a step above role player, then they usually they usually have a chance. All right, Bogey, for all three, three. Of those. all three of those, Bogey. Let me know to say three. trust the work in this interview. Just cashed at minus three fifty. By the way. <laughs> Hold on, Chris. You know that guy hates those interviews so much. Oh, I think they all kind of do. <laughs> oh, okay. That was good. Good offense. Yeah. Good rotation there by Mitch. Mm-hmm. Just somebody has to pick up for him there. Yeah. So look at that. Look at that. Kings outscored the Knicks by 15 in the first quarter. The Knicks have outscored them in every quarter since. That's that's a great trend. Oh, look at him go! Yeah. Bogey! You see, like, here's the thing with Bogdanovich and why I'm so willing to excuse the poor play. The guy has so many freaking years on tape of being a legit contributor to playoff-level teams. Um, Ooh, good turnover. Uh, okay. Funny, Nemo. Um, <laughs> but, uh... Oh my! Bogey, no way. Yeah, okay. no, that was that not, was not. Chris, I love you. It's still possession to possession. <laughs> <laughs> I just think there's something about. Oh and man, that's why you don't do that shit against Sacramento Kings. Devo, slow to get up. Oh dear. He's he looks wa- okay. He just got walloped by yeah. Alex Len, I think. Ooh, what we call a timeout. He may not be okay. Well. Well, let's take a breather. Let's let's get let's get him to the bench. Take a breather. Oh, he got hit. In oh, the face. he's bleeding. So that's what happened. He got hit in the face, and I mean, it looked inadvertent. Oh, look at him! Jeez, you see the red in his. That yeah, is a bloody. That mouth that's right there. really annoying when you get bloodied up and the refs don't call a foul. Play on! I'm bleeding. Play on! But I'm play on. No blood, no foul. I'm actually bleeding. <laughs> play on. <laughs> there is actual blood. Not sure it is a foul though. Th- listen, oh, this is man. a Knicks uh, playback, guys. Uh, we have to. Oh. My fire. Oh, they work for the Knicks. Okay, that's what's happening. They are playing for those watching on YouTube and Twitter. They are playing. Uh, I want it that way by the Backstreet Boys. I just think apparently. of Brooklyn Nine Nine now. Oh, you're young. Oh, Chris. Uh, <laughs> that's a great episode or a great cold open. I agree with you. I was around when this first came out. Yeah, man. this song actually. My I, God, Mensa. <laughs> this song was like, what was the drug of choice back then? Ecstasy? Yeah. This song, this song <laughs> hit me like, 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 really. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Well, I tell you, every every person I knew knew this song, like would play this song everywhere. Yeah, pop singles don't hit the way they used to. Like, this no, was a pop single. Bro, oh, yeah, TRL, thing. this was the number one song on TRL for, like, the longest time. Uh, was, so, Kev Wilson also agrees with you, Chris, that it's was a that, nine. Was that MTV, Andrew? Yes, yes MTV's uh, TRL. I, I I was the, it was before I was born, but I try to learn things. <laughs> TRL was bigger, was like as big as, well, okay, Saturday Night Live's not that big anymore, but it was as big as, um, like, The View or Saturday Night Live. It was, it was the number one show, like, teenagers watched back Where did then. she get a Nick's microphone from? Yeah, Sean, there is a way. He's younger than TRL. <laughs> I was watching this on this show on BET. I forget what it's called, but DC Young Fly hosts it. Mm. And Flau J was on there and she no, was getting awesome. like she was getting quippy with the other people and she was like, you know, back when you guys were doing in the 1900s. And I was like, wait, 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 wait. Please be respectful. Yeah. Because she was born in like I think 02 or whatever. And she's like, and it's like, what are we gonna say? We weren't alive in the 1900s? You know, like but when you say it like that, it just sounds <laughs> so, it sounds so terrible. Oh man. The I heater was... up six, by the way. Yeah, no, Andrew. The second you turned the game off, they went on an eight nothing. The, the the they went on a sorry, 
Philly went on an eight nothing run. Jaime Hawkins Jr. is on my screen. I hate That's him. That's terrible. Chris, you're typing. <laughs> Can hear all of it. <laughs> it's okay. It's, it's like Bruce Almighty. It literally, yeah, literally. It's Alrighty. just it's terrible because I type it like 150 words per minute. Oh my god. No. Oh, Mitch, next week. They fouled him. <laughs> Six to eight business days. Yeah, man. I, listen, this is next next week, man. All right, gotta win this game. The the incredible Mitch plays are around the corner. We are getting like just raw Mitch right now, and, and yeah, Superman's coming. Superman is he's still in the booth right now. This is his third <laughs> trip to the line tonight. You're hoping for three for six. He split both of the first two trips. Yes, <laughs> Ben Kim Gurry. Mmm, <laughs> Mitch. It was coming. Bogdanovich, active feet, and there goes someone completely unguarded on his side of the court. Oh, there we go. Ah, oh, they recovered. Mitch, drop. Okay, oh, you live with that. What can you do? Look at Keon. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. Yeah, me too, yeah. man. When De'Aaron Fox is hitting shots, he just has an inevitability about him. Oh, Brunson's back in. Ah, Josh, you got to hit that. Yeah. That's two bunnies between Mitch and Josh that just missed. He is giving Deuce everything he can yep. handle right now. That was good help by Mitch. Yeah, Mitch is tired already. You can see you can mm -hmm. see him pull up mid sprint. He's like, wait a minute. My chest is tight enough. <laughs> no, uh, no precious, no Burks this half. Yeah, no precious was the way to go. Tib saw what we saw. No Burks is the default way to go. Oh, yeah, the Burks thing is like it's he's a water break. He's a Alec Burks is a water break. That that is quite literally what he is at the moment. Just like Here comes think. Devo for for Boyan. I think they closed. All right, nine minutes left. They're closing with this this team. This is the the insane net rating team. They're so good at getting past the blitz now. The double team. A lot of great passers on this team. Mm -hmm. Come on. Yeah. Yeah, they're such Whoa. a good first possession basketball team. Who? They're uh, the Kings. The Kings, yeah. They had the screen. They had the the cut for for um De'Aaron Fox, followed by a cut by Keegan Murray, who passes it, and then there's a kick out. Like they just, they're just an excellent. You have to defend all 24 seconds against the Kings. Mm -hmm. it's, it's great basketball. He threw that to them. All right, whatever. It's off and a rebound. What's even the call there? This I is out of bounds. This yeah. is out of bounds. I didn't think there was a foul. I thought Devo was kind of out of control. Oh, wait, wait. Oh, be okay. Be okay. Stretch it out, I heart. <laughs> get them get the fairy gun.
Did you um did you guys see the Yankees push their start time because of the solar eclipse? What? No, I didn't see that. Yeah, we'll we'll talk at the next break. Okay. Brunson cutting in. Look at that. Great. And and one. One. And one. There you go. I, I predict the end ones just as confidently for Brunson as I do for Sabonis. It's not a one sided affair. There you go. Um, Andrew, the, the start time was 2.05. After discussions with Major League Baseball, it's now 6.05. Uh, the first 15,000 guests in attendance will get a Yankees Solar Eclipse t shirt. The top reply. Smart call, otherwise a pop fly will cause half the stadium to go blind. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's funny. All right, knock this down, JB. There you go. Nick's up too. Fordham, I know Fordham emailed us saying the Bronx is getting like 90% coverage mm -hmm. of the sun. So smart. All right. Oh, uh, there you go. Ah, hey now, on who? Sabonis. On um, well, Sabonis. Yeah, it was an yeah. iHeart. Another he get hard Stein masterclass of the fourth quarter incoming. There we go. Sabonis caught a moving screen. Yes, as I'm staring at Bam out of bio, not set screens, legally. That's funny, Nemo. Yeah, maybe, maybe one day <laughs> in your dreams. Yes. Believe in your dreams. <laughs> well done. All right. Make this a two-possession game. That would be one heck of a spot to be in, down 21 at one point. Ah! Okay. That was good defense. <laughs> Chris. <laughs> We hear you typing. <laughs> this is every time. Watch the game. We got this. You feel me. I like that. Josh Hart! Let's awesome. fucking go! There we go. That's very fun. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah, Josh. Josh yeah. Hart. What's he up to? Is that 25? 25 with the free throw? Josh free Hart getting throw, yeah. 30 points would be insane. Yeah, Josh. Yeah, Look Josh. That like court side. Josh, <laughs> Josh like fucking Hart. Josh. Josh. Yeah, like 20, 25. With the, if he hits the free throw, it's 25. Uh, sh uh, Chris, reset. 99 to 95, 753 to go. And, yeah, you heard that right. Josh Hart has 24 points here with lots of tick left on the clock. You got some celebrities in the house, too. He's always there. Um, oh, wow. Oh, really? Get it, Glow. Run up and the tunnel. Um, Okay. Josh Hart is 11 of 16 tonight from the field. Jalen Brunson hey has 25 points on 14 Rapper. shots. Um, yeah. The Knicks starting five is at least a plus 10 across the board. Excuse me, no. McBride is minus 11. But everybody else. Mm. Um, a lot of celebrities. Mike Rainey. The Knicks are now 40% from three. The Kings are still 50% from three. They're 11 of 32. Uh, 16 of 32. There's something in my Hassan eye. Hassan Reddick. Reddick. Let's oh, go. Yeah. Let's go, J-E-T-S, Jets, Jets, Jets. Makala. Yeah. Seeing Hassan Reddick, New York Jets was definitely something. I love it. I'm here for it. Hassan Reddick, man, is a menace. I was getting into his tape, and I'm like, oh, my goodness. The Jets got one. This is like Bryce Huff of Bryce Huff played running downs. It's unbelievable. He's old, <laughs> but like, who cares? I I just need you for one season, two seasons max. One. You're getting one. I'm I'm totally fine with that. Bro, well, they they're all they're set up. They're just loaded for one season. Yep. That's that's why I'm like. They're the last chance Jets. It's it's one of those things where I'm nervous that it's this year bust, <laughs> but I'm also excited for this year. However, last year did teach me. That I'm not like watching hard knocks, not going to week one. I'm just gonna be like, oh, they're they're four and one. Great. Now I'll start watching. Now I'll I mean, start getting excited. 
if you make it five plays into the, I, I won't. No, you're right, Chris. You're right. I'm already like if play we, six will already be progress from last season. <laughs> if we are healthy, like well, we got yeah. Tyron Smith protecting Aaron Rodgers, bro. Like throwing it to Garrett Wilson and hopefully like Brock Bowers or Romo Dunze. Mike Williams, I'm not counting. I'm not counting. No shot of Dunze is there at ten. What do you? I was gonna say, what do you want them to do at ten? At ten, um, Brock Bowers will trade back. I'm at Bowers to trade back too. Get a get a late first and, and a honestly, second. you can trade back and still get Brock Bowers because he's a tight end. Probably depending on who wants to get out to ten. You the know? guy that the guy that I like most is Brian Thomas Jr. out of LSU. Uh, six yes. four two oh five. Yo, he is crazy, unbelievable. What he had seventeen touchdowns this year. If you look at the pure tape, he's crazy. I I'm gonna say the thing I'm, it, only because this is a Knicks playback. I can get this hot take off. Just based off of the tape, better than neighbors. Yeah, yeah, I'm with you on that. I have Marv, and then like head and shoulders, and then Odunze, and then and then and then neighbors. But like Thomas had better tape than neighbors. Neighbors is a little bit of projection. Um, yeah, I think neighbors is getting overhyped because of like the the mystery box vibe of like, oh, but what if he's so. Look, he's very talented, and this is a great wide receiver class. But I think I would go with – I think I would take Brian Thomas Jr. over him because he's faster and he's taller, and he was more productive this year. And then the tape is the tape, you know. Um, it's tough with player comps, but, like, to me, picking neighbors over Odunze is like watching the tape and saying, like, yeah, I would take Odell Beckham over Julio Jones or over Larry Fitzgerald. Like, yeah. I, Larry Fitz is my, is my Odunze comp. I mean, well, I think they were comparing Marv to Larry Fitzgerald, which is interesting because he's going to very likely be a, um, a Cardinal. Um, so we'll see. But yeah, I this virus, this I think to me this might be the most talented offensive draft I've ever seen. Um, next game, next game, next game. <laughs> yes, of course. All right, guys. Oh, the that's, block. that's going the other way. <clears throat> Yeah, Josh is trying to get 30, no, no threes. Hart's playing with the sprained wrist and was like, I'm never taking a jump shot again. Just just take me to the cup. It's just a good defensive spot by Murray. That's just a good de- defensive play. Oh, for sure. Yeah. I mean, like in the game in general. Thank Regression, you. Regression, baby. Regression. Start like missing. Deuce. We have Trey McBride and they have Deuce Lyles. <laughs> Screw those guys. You just killed Andrew. Foul Bader. It's interesting because they're putting That's two the on the ball. Oh, Josh! Wow. Josh! Let's go, Josh. The Knicks are up seven points in the fourth quarter in a game where they were down 21. It's a 10 nothing run. 102 Ooh, to 95. Sabonis and missed. Keegan. Sabonis missed Lyles underneath. Let's go. Uh, <laughs> Isaiah, Josh is not happy that Isaiah that took was, that rebound. Yeah, one of his rebounds. <laughs> Who cares? We're up seven. Dang oh, yeah. No. Oh, Brunson. Oh, 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 the building. oh, 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 oh. Let's fucking oh, go. Look at Larry. Look at Larry. Look at Larry. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He you know like, he's sick. He was like, this is the most open I'm getting this play. I'm taking this. Yeah. Oh, oh. Lemon booty. Yeah. So the Knicks were down 21. They're now up 10. As Tom Thibodeau said so many times in 2022, no lead is safe in the NBA. Cook him. Oh, bye. Bye. Ah, that's tough. Ah. That was good defense. Josh. Josh, head up. Good job, Ah. Josh. Great job, Josh. Great job. Ah, okay. All right. You live with that. You're up now only you're, eight now. <laughs> now you're protecting a lead now. So let's do this, boys. Whew. <clears throat> Excuse me. That's a stupid foul. It was a stupid foul. Not having fun now, huh? Oh, man, I love when he's not having fun. 
And I and I really like De'Aaron Fox as a basketball player. Yeah. I just don't like when he plays the Knicks. <clears throat> Hey, there was a world I was ready to trade Julius for him. You know? I think we all, we were all that there. We're all that year, ago. that season, we all were. Bruh! Uh! Jalen Brunson. What you are witnessing, ladies and gentlemen, is the fourth quarter performance of a superstar. Jalen Brunson. There's De'Aaron Fox again. Oh my God, Domas getting that rebound is heartbreaking for the Knicks. Only if they score, Chris. Only if they score. Josh is pissed. <laughs> JB is getting in the way of his <laughs> rebound. That's going to be sack ball, right? Oh no. Okay. Josh Hart triple double watch. He has seven rebounds and eight assists. So he needs three more boards and two more assists in five minutes. Definitely some Josh Hart can do if the Knicks allow him to. Shout out to my guy Steve Cohen behind Mike Brown there. All right. Okay. Up 10 with five minutes to play. How are we feeling, fellas? Very confident. Oh, Philly came back. Philly oh. is up three now with less than two minutes to play. Okay. It's funny how Maxi turns into a superstar when Embiid is back. And, oh, and Kelly Oubre with the steal. Jimmy Butler trailing, flops, they don't call it. Heat down five. No. Lyles knocks it out. Imagine challenging this and then they realize, oh, wait, it was actually off Trey Lyles. That's off yeah. Hardenstein. No, it's off Hardenstein. It hits the top of his hand, it looks well, like. Look at Trey Lyles' left hand influencing it the entire way. It does. No, you're right. It, it pushes the direction, but it then rolls off of – it's one of those weird things where Lyles last knocks touch. it out, but it's last touched is the call. That's yeah, off of yeah. Lyles before – Replay. I thought like his finger was on there for years. a long time. Let's see. I'm, I'm so going to watch Hartenstein. You see oh, what I'm saying? Because you, you see he knocks it out. Yes, but I think it goes off of Hartenstein's hand last. I, I think Trey Lyles has some long-ass fingers, and <laughs> and that is what it influences. I, I think uh, his look, finger stays I, on it for a while. I'm here for uh, the play ball. stands. I'm here for the play stands. Did you just spoil it, Chris? No. Oh, okay, I didn't know if you saw it or not. No, just my intuition. Gotcha. Sixers up to they have the ball with 30 seconds left. Maxi on Six. Butler pulls up for game. two, misses. Heat come back down. Don't call timeout. 25 seconds. Bam sets a dirty screen. Of course he does. Terry Rozier on the elbow. Uh gets tied up by Kyle Lowry. Now he passes to Jimmy Butler. Butler on the wing takes a three. No good. Rebounded. Missed. Maxi gets the rebound. Dribbles it out. And it the might Philadelphia have been 76ers. Times. Oh, they called the foul with point right eight left. There. It might have been Hardenstein's wrist, but I think it's inconclusive. They okay. call it off New York. Okay.
They're going to turn it over here anyway. Who cares? The Knicks are on an 82 to 51 run. Ah. Yeah. They were down 21. Came back. They have a 10 point lead. Here we go. The thing that no one wants to hear is that in a game of runs, the Kings probably have one more left in them. Then I don't want to hear it, Chris. There you go. <laughs> Josh Hart with the steal. Didn't I just say they were going to turn the ball over? Ball don't lie. Look there at that. Go. Yeah, just let Jalen slow things down here. I, I think mm -hmm. that's been going well for you. Bring the pick. They get the switch. Do they bring help? Here they send them. Great shot. Jalen Brunson. Oh, oh, my goodness. They, they, Great shot. They finally stopped with the blitzing and because the Knicks were killing it so much. Sabonis. So that's yeah. tough. It's one of those weird games where I want blood, but I have so much respect for the other team. You know? The, the Kings are the kind of team the Knicks can beat without both Ananobi and Randall. They've just had that kind of season. Mm -hmm. um, they go into games seven and a half, nine point favorites and come out the losers. They're also like good for a reason, but they've just had that kind of season Heat lose. Love it. You love to see it yeah. at all times. Oh! Oh! Posted the thank you, Kings fans eliminated graphic. <laughs> <laughs> Kyle Look at the corner. Look at Keon Ellis in the corner. You told oh, Vision Man. Uh, that's good. That's good. Hmm. Excuse me, Keegan. Yo, Dante went from coming into the season like consensus Locked bottom 10 inside finisher Dante. in the NBA to now just being like mediocre at it. Mediocre. Is, I was about to say, where are you going with that? Which is a really – no, but that's a big leap. It is, but he still has moments of your, your uh, yeah, six, I mean, six, three. Yeah, you know? but it, I, I, just, I, just don't let him play in Philadelphia because then he thinks he's – Air Jordan is unbelievable. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I remember my Warrior fan friends being like, yo, this guy's going to kill for you, but just l l l laugh in advance when he goes inside because it's not going to be pretty. Josh Hart. Go. Is that 20? That might be 29. I think it's 28 for him. It might be 29, yeah. We just each gave a different number. Josh Hart is 29, 29. points. Yeah. Oh, Andrew was right. There we go. Not having fun now, huh? To be specific, he is 29 seven and eight gigantic josh hart game tonight the turnovers are the difference in this game the kings have five more turnovers than the knicks so the knicks defense has just been been insane okay how about that 113 to 101 with 311 to go in the fourth quarter these New York Knicks don't give up. They do not. Is Tibbs challenging? <laughs> I don't think so. Yeah, mm. Josh. John Starks Kia. Oh, wow, he is. They are challenging. That's hilarious. Look at Nemo. Okay. <laughs> Good call. Bro. Oh, no. I was going to say, imagine if the Knicks held Sacramento under 100, but they have 101 points. <laughs> The Knicks were the first to 100 for that yeah. old, old school rule of thumb. Kings have only scored 14 points in the fourth quarter. And for King fans, remember what we said about what you guys are doing tomorrow night. <laughs> They're in Boston. Yeah, well, hopefully it's an easy night for them because Boston has no – they have nothing to play for the rest of the game, the rest of the way. 
Yeah, they're already yeah. First to 60, 60 games. Yeah, no, I don't think. Yeah, mm-mm. closest would be either Denver. No, nope, no, no, nobody else going sixty. Yeah, interesting. Maxi was one rebound away from a 37 point triple double. That's probably the Sixers' most impressive, most meaningful win of the season. As that again, shut up. <laughs> All right. I'm Stan Van Gundy, and I was right. Get up! Yeah, what happened, Andrew? This computer just froze. Okay. No problem, Andrew. We got you. <sighs> you can tell us you're getting some dessert. We understand. What a guy. Great comment. <laughs> Nemo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the uh, the rest of my pizza I heat up after the final buzzer is going to be generational. Listen, what? Second re- Oh, my goodness. Second heat pizza It's the greatest. Sabonis, really good player. I like I said earlier, he's in archetype jail. He doesn't fit an archetype that NBA Twitter likes. Um, and he's not generationally talented offensively. He's just an all-star. So um Yeah, just good enough for you to talk about him. Yeah, exactly. Like in those things where it's like, hey, you have fifteen dollars to build a squad. Sabonis would be like a four dollar center, and no one would Nobody do. Nobody would pick. Yeah, absolutely. so it's like no, he doesn't appeal to anyone except Kings fans. When you talk about like the archetype, but he's so good, and you can definitely build a winning team. Another oh my lord! And what a cycle. That's thirty one for Josh Hart. How many rebounds does he need for a thirty point triple double? I think he needs three. Three. More. There you go. Three. Yeah. Ah. Uh... Ah, 14 of 19, though. How about that? That's oh, one. Two, here, here two rebounds he needs. Does he have the assist? I don't think so. He needs two. JB. At least, at least one, but I, th- I think it's two. Oh, Big steal. steal? Yeah, game over. What happened? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> brothers had to laugh that's really Look at this. funny They're 13 of 17 from the, the field kings have gotten more shots off this quarter than the knicks the knicks their first to shot has been super efficient this yeah. is so this is the thing like the knicks have been doing this recently fordham did this like the whole second half of their season which is where i was introduced to like the intricacies of this trend is like when you outshoot a team like just fga wise it guarantees literally nothing like <laughs> you could be getting a lot of those shots off because you're taking them early in the shot clock. And then the other team is going down and just making a layup and transition. Oh, wow. He's having a really hard time with Hardenstein. Oh, that's a nice this, shot this is rebound. rebound. 
Yeah, Josh really wants those boards. 30-point double-double on the way for him. Knocked on wood. I love them draining the clock, but maybe start the play with more than seven seconds to go. Oh, never mind. Who cares? There's the rebound. Is that is that the rebound? Is no, no, that... no, it, it counts as a tap out, not a rebound. But gotcha. at this point, possessions are, are what you want. Oh, no, I'm wrong. I'm wrong. I'm wrong. It's a rebound for Josh Hart. <laughs> yeah, because it, it was control tip out. Okay. There you go. He's got 10. Shout out to Tyson Chandler for blessing his Nick brethren with tip out rebounds. Indeed. And Josh Hart gets a tip out right there. That is 10 rebounds, 31, 10 and eight from Josh Hart on the day that we get the information that Julius Randall will be out for the season. Um, cannot discount what he's meant to, to the Knicks tonight. Can't discount what he's meant to the Knicks this season. Um, I know we hate that he doesn't shoot and he's a non-shooter and all those things, but I mean, what more can you say about a guy who continues to give you 40 minutes a night on average since Julius Randle's basically gone down? I mean, can't say enough good things about Josh Hart this season. Uh, they're up 15 with a minute and a half left. Can I just – they torched the Kings from, like, the middle of the second quarter on. They lost the first quarter by 15. Yeah, I'm saying they were, they the were down by 21 on. at one point. And then they were like, okay, that game's over. This new one is starting now. <laughs> yeah, like, quite literally, it's a four, it's a 35 point turnaround. They torched and they've they they've just like they they've taken advantage of the short roll. If you double, if you help off a wing, they're hitting someone on the corner and hitting shots. Like and when you don't bring the the double to Jalen, he's cooking. Like they tried a strategy to try and stop Jalen Brunson, and he still got thirty two points. Because there is no stopping Jalen Brunson. I, I agree with that. Jeez. I love the OG glasses look. He's it's hilarious. <laughs> My favorite OG like anything is when OG was trolling uh, Serge Ibaka about scarves. You ever see that video? I haven't. Uh, he it was in like a. A podcast they did. It was, it was like a yeah. It was like Serge Ibaka's like Raptors branded it, podcast. Yeah, it was hilarious because because OG knows he's under his skin, so he just keeps going. OG's ha OG has like that quiet like I'm not messing with you. No, I'm just I'm not. <laughs> he's he's like the quiet kid in class who never talks, and then when he does say something, he makes everyone crack up. I just, yeah, Tibbs just made subs with a minute and a half left. Up 15. Yeah. He said, he said, they yeah, took like, their guys they, out too. They put Colby Jones in. They have their third unit in. Oh, he only took out Josh Christ Hart. Why is Brunson? Okay, Brunson and Devo and Hartenstein. I'm just going to. Daquan Jeffries, you are not playing Everybody game winning. Chill. Minutes Everybody chill. Who cares? Down 13. Yeah, just dribble it out, bro. Just everybody be careful. That's all I'm saying. Everybody be careful. And everybody's at the scorer's table. Could have made that a minute ago, but I'm not going to complain. <laughs> not going to complain. I like this coach. Hartenstein said just throw the ball out of bounds. Oh, my God. Uh, okay. I'll okay. live with it. Just don't Facts. get hurt. They're trying to win, which is unbelievable. That would have been Hartenstein's 10th assist. Look at how he shoots this. <laughs> All right. Maybe they could come back. No. Zenkov. I'm Joe. I'm, but yeah. <laughs> two threes and two straight plays. How about that? Back to double teaming Brunson. And that's why I wanted to make sure people are out of the game. But it's 10, 10 points. So it's not completely crazy. Time. Oh my goodness. Stock broker to stock options. Originator right there. Um Nemo, I'm not. From that game where Andrew and I were on the watch along with XJ <laughs> of the Spurs game, those those first half Shake Milton minutes, I think, aged all three of us like a presidential term. So, <laughs> bro, I could not. I'm like, what? Like, I'm like, why is Shake in the game? What is going on? In fairness, like four Knicks underwater. Water was awful. Oh, I'm underwater. Yeah. Am I good now? No. 
<laughs> yeah, you learned you learned to do with me. Ah, I, I, it wasn't that important. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's like when my dad asks me what for the sixth time when I'm saying how are you on the phone. I'm like, you know what? You're all right. <laughs> <laughs> you can't answer me. You're clearly doing okay. <laughs> yes, Ben. Shake in case of emergency. <laughs> Yeah, JP. Why is Spike Lee leaving? Like, what? Uh, he wasn't leaving. He was going down the road to hype up all. The oh no, did he leave? I yes, he does that. I I, I noticed that at That's... games I cover, he always leaves with like win or loss. If it's a big difference, he just leaves. That's hilarious. <laughs> he just dips because it was like he was waving goodbye, like he checked out of the game. Like he's no. like, I go to too many of these games, man. I'm not sitting in traffic. Oh man. So Here Brunson had what? Let me mute before I type. Jalen Brunson finished with 35 points, 35. two rebounds, 11 assists on 20 shots. J Josh Hart, 31, 9, and 8. He was 12 of 20 tonight, Andrew? Yeah, 12 of 20. Okay. I have to run to the post game. I'm going to let you guys wrap up. Great Absolutely. win by the New York Knickerbockers. Absolutely great win. Thank you, for everybody, tuning in. You could hang out with Sean. Excuse me, with Chris. And with uh, Mensa. I'm honored to be Sean. It was a study hall crew. I was That's what I was doing. <laughs> Sean, Chris, and Mensa. Okay. Shout out to both of you. Love you both. Love everybody watching. We'll see you at the post game. Shout Take out, it away, fellas. Go to the post game after you listen to this. Jalen Brunson got fucking blitzed tonight. Five points on two of two shooting in the first quarter. After that, he took 18 shots. He made 10. He scored 30. Okay? So... For a guy who was seeing two on the ball all night long and at one point said, fuck it, I'm pulling from bed and saw nothing but net, he really turned it around. And I think what's fantastic is just the fact that the team as a whole showed that they're not quitting for shit. You can't make them give up. Randall out for the season, watch this, you know? And, and so for OG Ananobi, you know, Everyone's just waiting on you, big guy. Take your time. This team wants you healthy for all of the playoffs. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know what else to say other than Jalen Brunson's a superstar, and we would not be in the situation without him. Um, you see, once this team has fight, once this team continues to believe in who they are, they can compete with anybody because the Sacramento Kings are one of the best offenses in the league. And we had an answer for them every all night, and they did not have an answer for what we can do. OG and came back. He is one of the chess pieces, one of the few, one of the dozen chess pieces, I would say, in the league this year. So having him back just elevates what we can do on the defensive end, gives us another um, shot maker on the offensive end. Um, just very, very happy with this Knicks win tonight. We, we broke the, the three-game losing streak, and we are still in position for this three seed. So, I mean, obviously, we, we may want to get the two – I mean, um, the, the four or five and stay away from a potential matchup with Philly. But, guys, just win. Just win, get healthy, and play whoever you need to. And and final thing, um, before you go over to the post game, the Knicks have a game tomorrow. It's on the road. A really quick turnaround for them. They are going to be on Madison Street in Chicago. And, and for them, I think it's a Chicago team that really is just fighting for their pride at this point. And, and they want this just as bad as the Knicks do. They'd love to play spoiler. This is a, I know it's a random Friday night regular season game, but because of the seating situation, it's time to lock in. Knicks need to replicate this energy from the second quarter and on in tomorrow's game. Mensa, anything from you before we direct everyone? You know where. No, I, I, the only thing I have to say is go hang out with John and Andrew at the post game, guys. Hit that post game. Go tune in. The Bulls, yeah, the Bulls should want home court against the Hawks, but I feel like they're kind of. I don't think anyone takes them seriously, so <laughs> um, I'm not sure if they take themselves seriously. Hey. People are thanking us in the chat. Thank you guys for being here with us. Absolutely. We can talk to Thank each other guys. about basketball all day. What's great is watching the games with you guys. You are who makes it fun. I have 100%. Mensa's number. I have Andrew's number. We can just talk about this shit FaceTime. all night. Right? But 
you guys make this what it is. Thank you so much, but I need you to do one more thing for me. Go tune into that post-game live stream for Drew and John. For Mensa Smith, I'm KP here on Playback saying thank you, Andrew. Thank you to every single person in the chat tonight. And thank you to the New York Knicks for making this game one hell of a game to watch. Peace out. Stay good.